All right, the stream should be up on both Twitch and YouTube. Let me move the chat back over. That was in the spot where we were playing a different game, so I'll move that back over to the normal RimWorld area. There we go, there we go. All right, so uh, dual streaming again, lower latency on Twitch, and better graphic quality on YouTube. Watch whichever one you prefer, but if you want to lurk at the other, that helps me out the most, so, you know, uh, having them both open is, is, is the thing that helps me most as far as watching, but do whatever's best for you, of course. Uh, we started on Twitch and YouTube at the same time because I was running just a few minutes late, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to hurry and get in there. We're back to the Vampire Daycare, so 500% no pause, Sanguifage, so hardest difficulty, Rimworld, Sanguifage, Vampire Run, and boy, has it been a doozy, and we'll see what atrocities await us today. Uh, Rudderus, Banana, Toll House, Mod Wife, Leth Lord, Uncle Jay, Dipsy, Chub Nuts, Doi, El Aqua Wolf, Rain, Doc, Keith, War Sheep, Undead Ant, welcome back. North Wolf, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, North Wolf. I gotta remember to record this because I'm giving it over to the editor as well. It's gone, Buckle. Mick, Lucas, P. Tassim, Mr. S I almost called you Mr. Slime. <laughs> I just added an L to your name. Sleepy G. Kurt. Naz, welcome in. Jacob. Jones. That sounds like people waiting on my wife, waiting for last epoch cue. Yeah. Uh, on Twitch, you have to mute the tab, not... Yeah, you have to mute the tab, not the video. I don't know if it's the same way for YouTube or not. Lady of the Hall, welcome in. Dylan. Uh, G, welcome in. From Germany, first time catching me live. That's awesome, man. Thank you for being here. All right. So, like I said, we are uh, getting started. Finally quit raid. <laughs> Doug, <laughs> it's like you quit a hard germ. A uh, hard drug, and I was trying to say hello to germ at the same time. Watching the videos for a while. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Kobold. 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 Ash Monkey. Flack. Zero. Welcome in. Missed music. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So, I am recording this so that I can get it uh, to the editor. There will be edits of this run. All right. Two hours into episode three. A little behind. Episode three. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's actually some eventful things. I was about to say, it wasn't that eventful, but then I remembered the duels. And I remember the duels. <clears throat> All right. Recording has begun. So, yeah, we are back to the 5% no-pause RimWorld Sanguifage Vampire Run. We'll see what kind of atrocities await us today. If you haven't seen any of this run, this has been a crazy run, and it's full of RimWorld stories that I will literally remember forever. These are stories that I will tell when people ask me for crazy RimWorld stories, especially on day one, especially on day one. So, when we left off about a week ago, we were, well, we're working on a lot of things. There's a lot of things that we need to do. But the main ones are that we're trying to get to knighthood. So we finally got our piano making. And once we get to knight, we'll be able to go trade for better melee weapons, which is going to be pretty incredible. And then we're also going to start working on better ways to torture our, I mean, to more fiercely employ. I don't know how to, I don't know how to sugarcoat it. Our unpaid interns. Also, someone in the comments is saying that one of the, Geothermals, yeah, this one got broken at the end of the previous uh, stream by the... I think it burnt up when we had that siege. So we need to... Yeah, that's what happened. So we need to reconnect all that. Reconnect all that. And it even blew up some of the wall there. So we'll get that done. Uh, we're in the work zone. Okay, okay. Spider recruitment on other girl. So we also... Let's go, let's go through this here. We now are up to four Sanguifage, and we can get another one in 50 days. So we're gonna look for 50, oh! Oh, big development, Cave Baby. The child of Kid Jimbo. The J Jimbo, the kid, the kid, as you guys might remember him. Uh, he, he and Muffin, Muffin Girl, have had a, a baby. And now I gotta think, do we want to Make it so they have no more children, or we just want to let it let it go. Let's see what happens. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I might change my mind really fast. So, kid, the legend. He's the real protagonist. Delta Joker. Thank you for the two months. Dag. Thank you for the tier three for three months. Thank you, Dag. That's very generous. The Golden Sub Club. Thank you again, Delta North Wolf. Going Finn. So it is very dark in this base when I'm when I'm doing. We have the sun blocker and darkness, right? So there's there's little I can do. I'm going to try to make the thralls unhappy enough to where I can put 
at least dark lights everywhere because when I'm trying to take screenshots for the VOD thumbnail, I can't see anything. I'm guessing that's how it is on the stream too. If we don't have a room with dark light, it's just like, can't see anything. <laughs> Uh, let it go. If you have 50 kids in a year, maybe decide to, to wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Wrap it up. It's vampire daycare. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we got to get this um, piano done. So piano done. We are growing bonsai wood in here to get, to get some things done. We also did a raid recently, right? So we came back with quite a bit of wood from that. Loved one sold. Oh, right, but I've forgotten all about it. Nice. So what do we have up here? We got a few prisoners. Uh, nothing. Oh, there's a tough prisoner. Tough miner. So if he survives for 50 days, it's possible that he becomes a vampire. We'll see. We also ran into my character's father. Oh, I didn't realize that someone pointed out in a comment. My character started this run at 15 and his ex-wife was 35. How did the wealth challenge go? We really well, yeah. I hit 1.4 million. Uh, Trim, thank you for the five months, thank you, Trim. Bezos books. Very much appreciated. Doug, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, Doug. Yep, so the my character's uh, previous ex-lover, the Sacra, Sacra for X, she was like 35. <laughs> She's apparently dead now. So, Spider's still alive out there somewhere, though. We might see her again. Did I win? I did win, yes. I, I won. I won, but it was more of a competition with myself, and I won that also. It was a personal best, so. All right, how are we doing on our festivals? Got, uh, we got a while for these ones. Dance festivals got a while. Yeah, we got we got a while on most of these, so. When's the last time Cassandra hit? Thought about changing to Randy, too. I might still do it. John Kristoff, welcome in. Love is love. <laughs> the ships are always weird, yeah. We sold Spider to the Empire. She's still out there somewhere. Yeah, she, she'll become a world pawn. Uh, were there any more problems on the map? I don't think so. I think we're good there. Getting this all sorted. Throne room is coming along. The throne room, the initial one, just needs any kind of flooring. So I guess we will work on that too. Uh, I think the initial throne room is just floored, right? So it can even be concrete, I think. But it also has to have a certain impressiveness. Ah, but it's not too hard to get that impressiveness with this size, so... Aim is symmetry of the base. I know that ancient danger really screwed things over, but yeah, the big thing is getting our knighthood. Now, once we do get knighthood, we need to go out and trade with the Empire, which is a ways away. Uh, let's double check death rest on everyone. Death rest, looking good, looking good. Uh, and did EQ fan, so EQ fan does have his own casket now. So does Muffin Girl. Neither of them have a death rest accelerator, so we want to make sure those are connected as well. <clears throat> got raised yeah the EQ fan is our newest vampire right yeah yeah inversion on green so green is the tough one so I think we're gonna maybe enslave them do we need another miner I mean we we will we will and if I want him to be possibly around for an uplifting at some point Point, then we might want to enslave. Uh, although he could escape or something. But anyway, tough miner. Maybe someday he proves his worth and becomes a vampire. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's let's uh, recruit him. Well, uh, let's enslave him. Okay, and the other one. This one is a pyro, so we're probably going to try to kill them in a duel. And then, why are you named Craft when your crafting is level three? Did I? I named the wrong person at one point. I don't know. I don't feel like I would have tried to keep a level three. All right, we'll have them duel to the death sometime. I'm not. I don't remember if smoothing floor counts. I think so though. Sm yeah, smooth floor counts as fine flooring, I believe. No, no, no. It counts as basic flooring. Yeah, yeah. And I think that initial throne room is just any flooring, and then the next one is fine flooring. Let me double check. I think for night though, it's just it's just basic flooring. Let's see. Let's see. Throne requirement, meditation throne, blah, 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 repress 60, all floored. Yeah, it's just all floored to begin with. No biotech buildings allowed. 
Like section six, I think you mistook it. Yeah, that must have been what happened. It must have been like Russian or something. And like, oh, level six. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What's the best door for a freezer? Auto doors would be best, yeah. Uh, two auto doors would probably be best. Auto door, gap, auto door. That way, if anything gets dropped, it doesn't hold the door open. All right. So we got we got steel and we can scan more steel. So I think just to start with, we'll replace it later. We're just going to concrete this floor or the throne room. Ah, yes, the glorious concrete throne room, of course, of course. And do we have more jade? Speaking of fancy doors, we got a jade door there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. All right, we'll get that done. Fun work on that. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen today. This run is a roller coaster for sure. I mean, we've almost lost a bunch of times too. Uh, the concrete ASMR. Major break. Why are you happy enough to have major? It's them again. Man, you have a mind screw and no tongue and you still get too happy. Happy youngsters. Oh, no. I can't. What? <laughs> it's not. Uh, He's getting some dark light buffs too. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Are bugs enabled? Yes, we've had like so many infestations. I think we've had like 10 infestations. All right. All right. Oh, I missed. I missed. Missed a spot. Missed a spot. Okay. Then how's that piano going? Blocked greed? Make that piano. And just keep doing it. Spacious interior. I know, yeah. I don't know. Because as they haul stuff around, they're just getting spacious interior. If I can make a throne out of concrete, I probably would. I probably would. Uh, CG, thank you for the nine months. Brookinium. Thank you for the resub. Excited for more kids inevitably joining. Oh, God. Uh, thank you, Brook. Thank you, CG. Saying that, uh, yeah, yeah, I've had I've had him go stand in that in a while. Oh, you know what? He's not wearing tainted clothing. That's part of it. Here, go put on some tainted clothing. Yeah, there we go. That'll help. There we go. A solid concrete floor with no rugs. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it looking better. Everyone else now have tainted on. You don't have any tainted on, so go grab that. And okay, there we go. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna start feeding the slaves. Oh no. We're gonna start feeding the slaves some other stuff. So it would be nice to get them to eventually uh yeah, we're not telling her. So get them to like Nutrifungus kibble or something. <laughs> um but there's some other ways we can make them unhappy for sure, but getting to knighthood is probably the most important thing. Okay. Change these over to medical or slaves. Okay, other girl. Who who's doing her main doctoring? I am, right? Yep. I'm asleep. Go tend to her. Go tend. And into those as well. And human leather be the best. I don't think we uh, I don't think we care about human because of our ideology. Nutrient paste is a minus four, but it's not enough. I mean just eat raw food would be ideal. If we can get the gene to where they never get food poisoning and then just feeding them raw food, that'd be great. Questions like this make you love the game. <laughs> so raw food eventually, but the main thing right now is being able to trade with the Empire, and then that'll kind of open up a lot more for us. A tough wimp. Oh, dragon, welcome in. Uh, we can turn that off. Okay, Green has been enslaved. Oh, he was one of the ones that got sick as well. Okay, you better go lay down then. And we will wait to give you a name. <laughs> Make sure you survive. Make sure I'm not naming someone 
They just die of the flu. Did you also get the flu up here? I don't really care about these ones, though. Yeah, they did, but whatever. <laughs> All right. So we will put them on primarily mining. Unfortunately, they like mining. They have a burning passion for mining. But... Oh, well. I don't think we've seen a genie, have we? We need to find a genie for a crafter. Slave a genie. All right, we got some drugs coming in. We are going to turn that into flake. So we're going to trade it this time. So drug lab, we'll go steal drug lab, and we'll just throw it uh, in here with all this other junk. Lives in a cave, doesn't get to mine. <laughs> Loves mining, though. Okay, we're going to link these two together. Hang on. OBS just said something about the recording. Let me make sure it's... Okay, it's good. I don't know what that was going on. I was afraid we were running out of space, but we're not. They're great for the inverted mood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. Going, little girl, welcome back. Anita, welcome in. You have a body part there? Oh, it's a mind screw. Right, right, right. Any of the slaves not have a mind screw? Blocked Greed doesn't. Neither does Trin. And General Exo. And the new guy, the Miner. Probably give one to him if he survives. Hmm. Yeah, they're not doing so well in there. I wonder why. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be fine, probably. Right? Right? How are you happy? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Preach Health. I think I put Preach Health on Trin, though. Big deal at me, it'll is beating this. Other girl's beating it, but she's in the actual hospital bed. Play with the inverted moodlet mod? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I can do Preach Health on one of them. I need to. Might go ahead and do that on Trin. If we lose the miner, not as big of a deal. All right, let's go ahead and preach health on her. That should help her catch up. When can you be tended to again? In one hour. Yeah, so I guess if he dies, he dies. War for hire. I know I can I can work on it more, but it's not really a huge law. Let's see, a one star, two groups of wasters. Ooh. Raids are getting kind of large. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. We're gonna try to get better weapons where you start getting bigger raids. If I give them a medical bed or any kind, any kind of bed, it's gonna up their mood. Going Ryan. Uh thank you, yeah. Thank you. Ryan, thank you for using that here. Thank you for the reset. or I almost said reset. Thank you for the brand new sub. You're using the Twitch Prime here. Yeah, it absolutely helps out on uh, on both ends, right? It's all all in the same ecosystem. Well, I mean, for me. <laughs> it, it all allows me to continue doing this, I should say. Sound like you were trying to make them unhappy on purpose? I'm trying to make the slaves unhappy on purpose. Yeah, I'd rather not have him in a real bed, but... Hey, the piano's done. But we might just do it. So I'll set this to medical and we'll set it for slave. All right, he's getting happy in this comfy bed though. Uh, who asked if bugs are on? Oh, they're in a bad spot this time. Go, 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 go. I'm kind of sick of infestation this run. I don't know why we're getting so many. I mean, I know we're under the mountain, but... 
course. Of course, we're under the mountain. <clears throat> this happens every time someone asks if bugs are on this run, I notice. Bug killer! <laughs> Thank you for the resub, but just in time, yeah. Way to go, way to go. Alright, well, Cassandra's, uh... Up. Cassandra's up this morning. Good. Emperor voice. <laughs> Alright, it's animal or uh, wildlife rather. Gonna set these to kill. Change a foul mood. She woke up and chose bugs. Bugs. We'll see what else she does. It's very impressive. So, what else do we need now? Work frenzy. Oops. Throw room that says those nights. Oh, they must be lit. The map must be clear of enemies. So the bugs need killed. And we need a throne room that befits a knight. What else do we need? These need lit. Which is a problem because we are basically Well, we actually brought some wood back from a raid, so we should be good. These are dark light, yeah. That's not the problem. Problem is there's no wood on the map. We have to raid for wood, basically. For any any amount. Yeah, we just skipped the harp and went straight to the piano, yeah. Hey. Trying to make it so you don't die. Share the channel about a week ago. Enjoyed the uh, remodel streams. It's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Thank you for watching. Get a on the tree. So, yeah, we have a lot from the raid now, though, at least, so. Might be a while for you. We need to worry about it. Talked about getting a Gwarlin tree. In fact, there was a seed that spawned last stream. Rolls. Bugs wall? No. Yeah, so fiber corn only requires 30% light, but it does grow slower in less light. And fiber corn, we planted some here just to get a round of it. It's just, it's just so slow. And you get one per harvest, which is kind of ridiculous. Ah, squared, the number. Squared, they give the 69 months. Now we'll have another conversation about cool numbers when you hit 420 months. That's a long time. I don't think there's... Which been around 420 months. If you include just in TV, they might die. Nice months. Is there a way to scar people without the ideology table? Uh, your best bet is to have them melee fight some like bunnies and stuff. Hamahaki, you were the five gift subs. Thank you, Hamahaki. To celebrate to us, we had 69 months. Hamahaki is gifted. No, I don't know why. Thank you. Thank you for the five months. Yeah, I think fiber corn should be more than one per. That'd be nice. That would be real nice. Fire recruitment. Train. So, Miner, come on. What are you doing? I think he might die. Uh, unless Preach Health comes up in time, which I don't think so. If he dies, I guess he dies. Or 21, you have to count gifted subs too. Yeah. yeah, with that, we definitely have some people. Make flake times four. Do forever and drop it on the floor. Make flake one. Do forever and drop it on the floor. Let's all, go ahead and put the range of this down as well. This helps with lag in the late game, so I might as well start doing it. We might have a large colony at some point, you know? Make flake times four. Drop it on the floor. Some kind of rap lyric from some RimWorld rap station. <laughs> 
Rap? No, it's a children's rhyme. Oh. Oh, yeah, for the vampire daycare. My bad. bad. Alright, let's go ahead and allow these to be lit. Everybody walk the dinosaur. No, <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. All right, Cassandra, you're going to hit a second time. Yeah, that that kidney being destroyed is really screwing him over. Ever eaten a flake? Depends on what kind you mean. I've had lots of cornflakes. Frosted flakes? Yeah, frosted flakes actually sounds like a drug name, too. <laughs> Look at those dark lights. Dark lights. Need the map to be clear of enemies. What is it? what? Oh no! They're not gonna come because of the sun blocker. The Empire's like, I will not go. There's, there's some kind of mech being on your map. Crap. Well, I mean, there's nothing we can do. We gotta hope for another one. Could we settle somewhere else for the ceremony? That's an interesting idea. We could go make another colony, but I'd have to take the... I'd have to take the throne and the piano. <laughs> Ugh. Nah, these, this is destroyed. This is a... Oh, wait. There is a turret up here, but I think the sunblocker is also counting. But I thought we destroyed all this, but there is a turret. Let's go destroy that turret just to see. But I think the sunblocker is also counting. All right, well, we'll see. We'll see. I thought we destroyed all those turrets. Apparently, we left one. Uh, all right, grab the smoke. And let's go up that way. A little John voice. It works well. It works well. Thanks, little John. I hope it's only the turret. If it's also the sun blocker, then we might be going and making a small kingdom on a different map for ceremonies, which is pretty absurd. But this entire run's been absurd, so. Craft might be dead because of that missing kidney. See if that was it, or if they're gonna say no sun blocker. Hopefully, it was just something that can cause them damage and not the sun blocker. The foliator's gone, yeah. I had to get rid of it because it was killing the hydroponics. Ceremonies call it a pilgrimage, <laughs> pilgrimage for knighthood, a quest, if you will. Hello. Oh, there's predator combat. Anyone ever wondered warg versus cougar? Warg. Warg wins. Warg wins. Fatality. All right, well, they're gonna die. Maybe, I don't know, they might catch, they might catch. See cougar wins sometimes. Hey! Okay, we don't have to destroy the sun blogger. It was just literally that one turret. <laughs> On day two on VODs, what spoil yourself? Oh yeah, it's been crazy. Vampire fries. <laughs> it's been crazy. Yeah, thank you for watching rap. Hope you hope you enjoy the the journey up to this point. You're on uh day two. Oh, so you're not even to the duels yet. I won't spoil it, but yeah. You still got the duels to look forward to. <laughs> uh. What's human meat for? Human meat's for eating. 
Yeah, Zeus Hammer Mono Sword will be incredible. So much better than these. So much better. All right, so. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. As Miner dies. Oh, and they're so close to catching that, actually. Even with the missing kidney, he's really close. All right, we've tended him. If he dies, he dies. If he lives, he lives. Good luck. Good luck, Miner. You don't even have a real name, so. All right, it's knighthood time. Ooh, we'll have Psy casts. A lot of Persona weapon with mad wailing. You could equip it on the slaves. That's true. Yeah, that's that would be interesting. They would be happy that they were wearing a melee weapon, but mad wailing would definitely, definitely more. Wall in the Sunblocker. If I wall in the Sunblocker, it's more likely to get destroyed. Right now, enemies will not attack the Sunblocker, but if I put an, a player-owned wall around it, Breachers are likely to hit the wall. And if they're explosive Breachers, then... Yeah, they'll, they'll take that out with them, so... Alright, here they come. Time for a beautiful ceremony. Hmm. Well, you're gonna die there, so we don't want that. In fact, we don't want any of the... Thralls present. It's me, the other vampires, and the children. Okay. 68%. Oh, so close. Is it possible to consume toxic waste packs? No. <laughs> Come on, Rengar. Welcome in. Here we go. Yes. Witness us, cave baby. Rengar, tier two for 25 months. That's like 50 months, Rengar. That's like 50 months. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Rengar. Much appreciated. Glad you also like watching the Total War stuff, by the way. Much appreciated. An honorable bestowing. All right, cool. What do we get? What do we get? Word of joy. Okay. Chaos skip and chunk skip, of course. So nothing great, <laughs> but word of joy can be good, to be fair. throne room with concrete isn't very royal it's super royal super royal all right so now i need to go off hopefully everyone will be okay do i need death rest no we're good all right we're gonna go try to trade with the empire how long is the journey to the closest man the sunblocker doesn't cover the empire bases so if we get attacked it could be be bad that one's 1 1.9 days that one's 2.3 okay all right well you guys will be fine here. I've trained you uh, adequately. <laughs> I was going to say well, but maybe that's not entirely true. Uh, Yeah, we'll sell them some of the camels while we're there. We actually have a lot of cloth, huh? Didn't realize we had grown so much cloth. Okay. Good. We'll take... I uh, guess we're going to eat chocolate. Eat chocolate while we're gone. Take some rice with us. All right. I catch up on the same run on a live stream. Keep watching on YouTube. You're falling asleep all the time. It's a cr That's a crazy run to fall asleep to. You might have weird dreams. <laughs> okay, here we go. Day there, a day back, just me and a bunch of camels. Camels. Uh, I could check. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure which... Which ones I want this time. Yeah, I don't know. I had to think about it. For the points, yeah. Shuttle might be a good one for this run. I mean, shuttle's pretty handy either way. Also, oh, right. I'm already the leader, so we already have extra high expectations. But, man, look at all these these things. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want for the um the permits, the royal permits. Exotic goods trader. Oh, oh well. The run that's really all faction hostile, no trades. Oh, versus everything. Uh, we've kind of done that, yeah. 
kinda. But I mean, not as a specific themed thing, so. Maybe, maybe. Basically, doing your very own Vampire Lord Ben Karstein playthrough. Kinda. It's been really. Oh my god, Miner lived! It's been really brutal. Uh, Alright, we need to give him a mind screw. Yeah, this has been a crazy one. We've, uh, it's a very evil run. It's all mind screw and. Let's remove his tongue, and while we're in there, we'll just cut off his junk. Some of it. Just, just some of it. See what I mean? The shuttle's good all together, yeah. Good on CIs. Yeah, good on everything, I think. It's You can never go wrong with that one. Also, I mean, being able to grab... Uh, uh, being able to grab, like, units also. Like, summon units to go absorb Doomsdays or something. is really good. Wait, undignified bedroom. Oh, right, 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 right. No biotech buildings allowed. I can't have my death rest stuff in my room. Dumb. Dumb, da dum dumb. As long as they are very, very, very unhappy. Dum, da dum, dum, dum. Death rest, another small room. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. You were rebuffed by Muffin Girl. Did you try? Uh, oh, let me see. Uh, my character has no daughters, just so you know. Loved one sold, undignified, unsightly. Wasn't night, once night specific apparel. Oh, right, 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 right. We have to have a cape. Gotta start making that stuff too. Right, all right, all right. Doom, 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 doom. Production. Tailoring bench. It's been so long since I had a royal that was not ascetic. Pretty hmm. forgot about Slaley got sold. Spider. Spider. My character's long lost love. I mean, we got rid of her, so it's not like. She's not really lost. <clears throat> We're trying to make playing as a vampire annoying, don't they? Uh, well, the vampire it, it doesn't is the one that needs the royal stuff. That part. Oh, they both <laughs> ended up dying from the wounds. Anyway, that's the royal that needs all that extra crap. And I specifically didn't go ascetic this time. Ascetic makes being a royal much much easier. It gets rid of all those needs. Kid Jimbo fighting with EQ fan. Oh, it didn't last very long. What was this about? EQ fan called Kid Jimbo an alpaca. Whoa, you better watch yourself, EQ fan. Don't you know that Kid Jimbo is the anime protagonist of this series? Uh, Lydia Summon, okay. We'll just cut off his junk. Alright, perfect. You're immortal, but your life sucks. Alright, uh, so we're gonna make cape. Do until we have X. X is one. Uh, we'll keep these up there. and we'll, we'll turn off human leather. Okay. And I'll bring this down closer to like we were doing before. Let's go ahead and get textiles brought in. We're gonna clear everything. We're gonna, we're gonna put text textiles here. We're gonna turn off human leather. I can't type today. Sorry, I can't type any day. It's alright. And then we need button-down shirts until we have X, one. <laughs> What's going on? 
I'm not sure. <laughs> Am I having a stroke? I'm not sure. Call for help. Bottle wife, help. All right. And then we need pants. Here we have X. I'm getting too precise in this. Don't really care this time. See if I can type human without typoing. Well, look at that. Look at that. A new record. Typing human in only one try. Okay, so we got the basics, and then we need royal crap. So, what all was it? <sighs> I don't remember. Go ahead. And, we could. We could go ahead and make the crown and stuff. Skip the hash. Just go straight to the cra crown. Hmm. Yeah, we might do that. Maybe we we'll start this stuff and uh, let's trade. We might actually trade for some of the stuff while we're there instead of having to make it. Yeah, let's see what they have. Formal shirt. That's the. One. That's the one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. We might check what they have and then we can skip. Formal vest. Formal shirt. Yeah. We'll see what they have though. They might have it and we'll just buy and put it on, on the road. Crown Cornet gives some defense. I hope so. Uh, we should actually look for a prestige marine helmet. Does those count as well? Prestige things count, and that would give us defense, right? A triple granny. All right, triple granny while we're on the road. Whoa, this is enormous. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen. One third of my family is children. Just what I need, my butt crack to be able to talk to me randomly as I travel across the world. All right, Granny. First one got me a little scared, but she kind of kind of eased up. All right, mind screw is in. Tongue is removed. Junk gone. And that's no longer for slaves. All right. And while we're gone, we're going to concrete this over. Make it better later. Need a grand emo. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Felgen, Felgen, thank you for the 14 months. And Drac, thank you for the five months. No! <laughs> the muffin girl. Oh no. The kid's just gonna churn out children. Uh, Drac, thank you for the five months. Fetus, thank you for the 27 months. Wild fetus appears and suddenly someone's pregnant. Hmm. Wild fetus appears in general, or yeah, indeed, not in general. <laughs> well, well, well. The kid is dangerously fertile. Well, we might deal with that when we get back. Maybe, maybe a few little snips, you know. Way to go, way to go. Zooming. Zooming. You like the little drapery he has to go through to death rest. Here we go, looking for a good weapon. Looking for weapons. Flat oh, Monosword, yeah. Can we have four? Ooh, there's two of them. Two of them. You got any prestige stuff? No prestige stuff. I saw some clothing, but we mainly want those swords, so... We'll start with just one. What genes do they have? Psychically dull, super fast wound healing, extra pain. <laughs> Word of joy. There's a reprocessor stomach. All right. Monosword and a Zeus hammer. Zeus hammer is pretty expensive. There's a Persona one for way more. Yeah, we're not going to be able to afford those yet. But maybe we can get at least a Mono Sword. Let's see how much money we're dealing with here. We brought quite a bit. Because maybe we actually can afford more than we think. Ooh. 
I think it would be better for us to grab like two mono swords than one prestige sword, you know, or a uh, persona sword. Yeah, probably so. We'll have access to get back or get bows back. Uh, we can also sell the young dromedary. Okay, so Monosword. Can we get one Monosword, one Zeus Hammer? That would be ideal. Yeah, there we go. And we have a little bit left over. Um, I guess we could just grab components of the remainder. We have basically 700 left, so. Low shield. Low shields are always good. I think we still have one low shield back at home. Shock Lance is always good as well. But I think I'm going to grab components for now. And then we are making Flake now, so we should be able to get back here and get more trades anytime. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch this. Which one do I want? The Zeus Hammer or the Mono Sword? I'm going to take the Mono Sword. All right, we'll bring the Zeus Hammer back home for the kid. The kid. And we got to get enough stuff to get more drugs planted so we can go out and trade more. Charge Lance? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. On Chris, welcome in. How are we doing on festivals? Uh, three days. We'll we'll just wait and do them all at the same time again. Four days and someone can kill someone in Mortal Kombat. Hopefully, we haven't had anyone die in Mortal Kombat yet. Start killing slaves. The monster when we get back. I'm just trying it out. Trying it out. See how this thing works. JP's rhinoceros. Oh no, it's another kid. He's 11 though. It's 11. That means he only has one more growth tier. If I get back in time, uh, I don't think we're going to be back in time. I don't want to be stuck out here waiting on the kid, unfortunately. On, on this new kid. The mono sword doesn't get bonus damage for the bonus melee damage gene. What? Really? Is that a bug then? That's weird. It seemed like it did during the Melee Gods run, but I didn't specifically look at it. Yeah, weird. Weird. Yeah, either not right or a bug. It, it should. It is a melee weapon and it counts for, like, melee ideology stuff. Hmm. Yeah, weird. Uh, death rest, we're good. Good. Back with less camels, but more weapons. All right. Got Zeus Hammer off there. Equip Zeus Hammer. Auto Sword does a ton of damage. It does, yeah. It's really strong. There we go. Now we got some... Goods on the front line and shield belt. I need a shield belt too. Feel like we have another one somewhere. Are you okay with your pace? No. Why not make some slaves cook meals? It seems like our. We're pretty happy. Like, it's just, it would just be a waste. And all the people that need to be happy are happy, and the ones that need to be unhappy are unhappy. So, the slaves all need to be under 5% mood, or else they can have an uprising, which we don't want. So, agree. Let's turn you to two on that. 
Yeah, so we want anyone with a ranged weapon, basically, we want to be super unhappy. Any, any, so that's why they have ranged weapons, because our ideology actually hates ranged weapons, so we're to make them as unhappy as possible. All right, so we got the throne room done. We're getting some research done. Uh, we have some weapons. We need to get the other hydroponics done so that we can keep trading for more and better weapons. We need to find a crafter. And we need to keep an eye on raid opportunities. 69 components. Uh-oh, Thazo. Wait, Thazo, is that... Oh, Thazo is the imp tribe. No, it's a mod, yeah. We have a mod that's more slavery stuff. I think it's still worth. I can... The... The slaves can kill them. There's only six. Hmm. Camels and swords, the opposite of swords to plowshares. That's right. That's right. It was on the sixth, huh? Sanders off cooldown. How long is that going to be there? 20 days. All right. So after the next time Cassandra attacks, we're going to go. We're going to get that. We're gonna raid them. We'll just have to take the slaves with us. Do some, do some shooting. Greed making drugs. Way to go, greed. Way to go. You don't get a chair, by the way. Okay, let's go ahead and fill this in. Get more drugs going. Have any advice for the single page starting scenario? We haven't had one of those colonies last longer than a year. Death arrest is killer early game. So in a normal run, if you're just trying to do single phage, in a normal run, you don't have to have the other person be like a slave or something. They can just be a colonist. They can be another single phage pretty early on. So you can roll your single phage to where their genes are already done regrowing or almost done. And you can just make the second person and then you can rotate who is doing the, the death resting. Uh, if not, though, you can just roll the second pawn that's with them as a pawn that is like a good solo pawn and... Keep wealth low if you want. Smaller raids, use traps and things like that. Use normal low wealth, low colonist count strategies until you can get some more bodies. But if you're doing it exactly this way, which now... Oh, by the way, those of you that wanted to download this stuff, I updated the downloads on the website. So adamverseverything.com slash download. We'll get you to the page where you can download this scenario. You can download the xenotypes that I use. You can download all that stuff. It's free. You don't have to be like Patreon... Patreon subscriber or anything like that. So feel free to, to check out that page and, and download it if you want to do the same kind of start. Uh, also, I'm going to start putting some of my Warhammer saves on there too if people want to want to play along with that. Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure which of these I'm going to get. The Aero Drone Strike can be good. Salvo can be good. The Transport Shuttle can be good. I feel like the call-ins like steel and food and stuff are pretty weak. So I'll probably end up getting Shuttle, Cataphract, and Strike. <laughs> Why airlock them? Uh, because wild animals. So this map has a sunblocker. So basically I need double doors leading into most of the base. The, the reason it's this big is just for aesthetic reasons. It was just like because of the playthrough. But the reason for the double door in places is that there's no vegetation out. And so animals that are not stopped by fences just beeline into the base to eat our hydroponics, eat our food in general. So if a door gets held open or a single door gets held open or something like that, we have to worry about the animals. So just a way to stop that. And as far as the shape of it, it's just part of the part of the themed thing for this run. Old vampire mod. Uh, you like it better than single phage? Yeah, I never played that. Yeah, I, I don't know about... I don't know about that one. Fox Rat, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Fox Rat. V-Day, thank you for the 25 months. Episode 26 months. Lord Zed, a Twitch baby. Thank you for the 9 months. Zed, Eversor, V-Day, Fox Rat, much appreciated. Uh-oh, Muffin Girl's sick. 
Hang on, you're eating meals? Where the crap did you get a meal from? Incompetent cook. You ate one of the meals of the camel for the camels? <laughs> no way. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna go in here. And we're gonna turn off simple wheels for right now. Okay. Alright. Alright. Ice Team 9. <laughs> uh, I see. Thank you for the resub. 19 months of calling you Ice Team 9. Well, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I set him too. Yeah. I need to set his outfit. There we go. Incompetent diner, more likely. I don't even choose the permits yet. Whoa, look at that. Cave baby. Sweeping up toxic waste at three years old. Uh, no, you know that. You know, let's, let's not do that. You can just do whatever, cave baby. Just, just have fun with your childhood. Put in work. <laughs> All right, they're pretty unhappy now. Pretty unhappy. Almost time for a duel. What happens if you make someone that's incapable of violence duel? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, huh? You can't. <laughs> Bull crap. Why do we even have this guy then? Oh my god, he's making... He's becoming my friend. Oh, we're going to execute that guy. Nice base video guy. No, I have not done one of those. Basically, a sidecaster vampire focused abilities instead. Oh, okay. All right. As you were, then. Finish your modern world run. No sleep colonists managed to capture a landed starship. Thanks for sharing the no sleep thing. No sleep is very powerful as long as you can keep their mood up. Finish the melee gods run. Melee gods are so fun. I'm on this run now. You can download the Melee Gods. So I was just tell, telling people I finally updated the downloads page on my website. So for anyone that is interested, you can download the Melee Gods scenario and genes if you want to play with your own Melee Gods. Finally have that up and available. All right, so I'm going to mine a cut across here. Hemoglobin power plant. You know, we do have another chamber for for someone. Hmm. Yeah, I think when that bed gets done, we're gonna we're gonna put him in there. But one one good weapon that can. Oh man, we all yeah. I did that not thinking about Muffin Girl possibly dying, but she managed to get the weapon. It was pretty epic. Yeah, uh, it was a little in her favor anyway, but. I love how the biotech runs always have blank baby. Uh... Why don't slaves go sl crazy with such low mood? I wish I could pin this at the top of the chat, like pin an image. Pin an image at the top of the chat. They go crazy if they have above 5% mood. They have to have below 5%. That's the only time they won't go crazy. First person you have a no sleep gene is called she had to rebuild. First year of his life. Uh, couldn't sleep, had no legs, no arms. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's their uh, ideology. A modded, a modded precept. Oh man, allergies are really bugging me today. Miss Floor Baby. 
Poor baby's gone for a long time. Slaves of Wall. Yes. Ragnar. Thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, Ragnar. Whoop, whoop, Lugalog. <laughs> Like some what some toddler would call their bowel movement. I just took a poop. You took a poop? Yeah. It's just a luga log. What? Are you trying to say little log? Yeah. How old are you? Poop. Fifty-two. All right. Rimworld still fun without this mod. Uh, slavery in Rimworld is without any mods is unless you're doing it for the theme it's not really worth doing slaves are worth 70 percent as far as raid points go and it's easier to keep them happy but i would typically just rather have colonists so unless you're doing a themed run or you have like the meme or preset like from a min max standpoint if that's all you care about then they are not worth it blow a baby and then there was also Mortar baby. Oh god, mortar baby. <laughs> that was crazy. What was the name of the baby in the zombie run that got eaten? There were two babies, and the zombie spitter from our zombie run bullseyed them through the roof. Immediately the zombies started eating the babies as we're trying to kill the zombies. They're just ignoring us and just eat the babies. Or I forget those kids' names. Yeah, mortar baby got hit by a mortar and lost most of its body. But I forget the name of the ones. Oh, they're getting married. Hey, yeah, that's right. That's right. You guys don't attend the marriage. I don't want you happy. Mortar baby lived, but the one that got eaten by the zombie was completely eaten. Oh, wait, the, the zombies ate its head off, actually. The zombie run was a crazy one, too. Appropriate quote for the moment. No, I don't remember what that baby's name was before it got eaten. I remember. Yeah, I remember Floor Baby. I remember Mortar Baby. I remember Experiment. Raid. Attacking immediately. It's a triple prong tribal raid. Okay. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Oh, I still didn't get a shield belt for me. There was, yeah, there's been several floor babies, yeah. Have I done any medieval runs? I've not done an actual medieval run, but I did a melee only run where it was just us with melee weapons and animals, so that's kind of, but the enemy weren't, weren't medieval, you know? Kid, no, Kijimbo's a nudist. Were they in burkas? Yes, some of them. See if any of these survive. And hopefully we have a little bit of plastic to redo that. Okay, what are you? Neanderthal. We're, we might have some for the duels. Yeah, nothing else really. So... We can have them duel and sacrifice them or whatever, but... All right. You went to test the mono sword and great melee damage interaction. It does increase the damage, but doesn't change the armor penetration. Yeah, I didn't figure it changed the armor penetration. Okay, so you tested it. So I don't, yeah, I don't know if you're still here on YouTube side, but someone went and tested, and if that is true, 
if it, if it was ever true, then it's been changed since whenever it happened to you. Uh, Stin. Yeah, I thought it'd be weird if that was uh, the case, but there's there's lots of bugs like that that have happened in RimWorld and still happen, so. You made a clip? Oh no, what is that clip? I can't preview them all on the stream because the chat program that I use, but I look at the clips after the streams. And depending on what they are, I show my wife and, and sometimes my daughter. <laughs> But very, very dependent on what they are. You know what, Muffin Girl? You and I are going to research, okay? You and I are going to be research buddies. Alright, I was cooking anyway. Okay. Do not show- yeah, I'm not showing these, those clips to her. No, no, no. Oh, thank you. The, uh, the clip of the... Slavery precept. Yeah, yeah. Terror cluster. Two-star cluster. Psychic Droner. No thanks, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I guess we'll just knock out some other stuff. Whatever. Infection. Well, maybe you'll live. Rush from your choice. This kind of game was Oxygen Not Included. Looks more intense than Oxygen Not Included. It is very different from Oxygen Not Included, yeah. Oxygen Not Included doesn't have any enemies or raids or things like that the enemy is the environment and there's some creatures you know that can snap at people and they can get hurt and stuff but it's not the same so this one has a lot more i don't know R rts aspects to it i guess you would say oxygen included i like oxygen included but yeah very different games Awesome baby and chicken baby. Oh, the that's right. They were tribal babies. So they kept coming out with tribal names by default. And we would just tag baby on the end. <laughs> and we had a bunch of animal babies. That's right. Forgot, forgot about them. Forgot about them. You have a lot of RimWorld guides and different kinds of themed playthroughs up on YouTube as well. So if you ever want to look into those sort of things. They are available. All right, let's get this steel mined. Uh, hello, turkey. Dupes are more... Uh, they made it a little bit better. They still do it, from what I understand. I haven't played Oxygen Not Included in a while. But in early access, when Oxygen Not Included was new, they were super suicidal. Like, and they'll still build themselves into an area where they're dying. Stuff like that, from what I understand. But it was so common for dupes to... Ooh, triple rockets... Doomsday rockets. You gotta be really careful. It was so common for them to, like, literally build their head inside of a wall and then start complaining that they were suffocating. <laughs> like, how is this my fault? Oh, they're prepared for a while. Well. I mean, pawns will also build themselves into a room that they can't get out of, and you have to micromanage that, especially without mods, but... Okay, comments. Dazzle, think of the 16 months. Think about the support Dazzle. All the bits, subs, all the good stuff. Why does it say outdoors? Because it is open to the outdoors. Yeah, it's just a tunnel straight outside. I'm not sure I want to make the kill box fancy in this one because then the slaves will get happy while they're in it. Medical emergency. All right, they're fine, I'm sure. Okay, where is that explosive? Ooh, right in the middle. Ugh. Shield belt. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have one still. I should drop one off these guys, though.
Okay, there's the doomsday. Okay, good. Here's the triple. Good eye on that. So I need to remember to bring a EMP down here for when we have pirates now that they have low shields. Alright, that was Cassandra's second attack, so... We are good for a while, which means we can go do that raid if we want. Do I need death rest before I go? Yes, I do. Alright, let's go ahead and get that done. Anyone else need death rest during this cooldown? Muffin Girl does. Might as well put EQ in his as well. Exciting LG sculptures with terror sculptures in the kill box balance. I'm not sure, yeah. I'm not sure. I know the terror ones call suppression. I'm not sure about mood though. Is there anything that the shotgun tunnel can't handle? No. No, you you can do shotgun tunnel literally the whole game, and then as you get more people, you can double it and it gets even stronger. Um, you, and we've also figured out how to lure breachers into them. I haven't done that yet in this, though. Does death rest slow pregnancy? No. She had her last baby while death resting. You would think it would, like, pause it or something while she was in there. No. <laughs> no, her last baby just came out on its own during death rest, so. And somehow she was still screaming during death rest. All right, more steel, more steel. You just run on YouTube, so they don't want to spoil yourself. Just want to say hi. Thank you, thank you for watching. Yeah, it's a crazy run. Hopefully, you enjoy. Double it and give it to the next raid. The base like a big padded room. Oh yeah, yeah. I've played auction included a lot on the stream. We played us a, uh, a set. This is before the DLC and before they changed in game. But we played run of auction included on the stream all the way past cycle one thousand. Drown themselves. Yeah, yeah, all that crap. Yeah, crazy. They are definitely suicidal. I also remember the very first time I played Oxygen Not Included. So it was right when it hit early access. No one really knew anything about it. And those, those of you that play it will know exactly right off the bat how bad this is. But I was accepting every dupe. Every single time it popped up, I didn't realize that I could just like be like, no, I don't need another one right now. <laughs> so every single time... I was just, yeah, all right, well, let me pick the best one. God, I had so many, and things were going so terribly. Then as I got better at the game, I started staying on four dupes for, like, a long time. I would stay on four dupes for, like, hundreds of cycles. But. And to start with, I was not doing that, <laughs> Nice. Ready to go? Ready to go? Oh no, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's an interesting thing too because when I was doing the hardest difficulty playthroughs of Against the Storm, people would come in asking for advice and have a lot of trouble. And some of the advice was kind of like Oxygen Not Included. It's like you do not need to accept everything every time it's offered. Just because they're giving you something doesn't mean you have to take it. Step back, accepted every dupe as well when you started three bad dupes in the colony, drown and vomit. Oh, and then we did a playthrough. I don't know if it's still possible, but we did the pee pit. We named it the pee pit. There's still some quotes on the Twitch bot about the pee pit. It was a base that was an entire, like, really tall tower with uh, the graded flooring so that liquid could go through. And we were trying to see if we could self-sustain, yeah, the pee pit. We could self-sustain by just letting all the dupes vomit and pee anywhere all the time no bathrooms just pee and vomit so that it would fall through the floor into a giant pit where we processed it into everything else we needed <laughs> and it worked surprisingly well what are you doing with toxic waste right now i'm just dumping it outside the single phages themselves are immune to toxicity so all right sensitive boy forge your first seal moving into prestige oh that's awesome yeah i was wondering if you were still playing it yeah 
Nice, congrats. Sensitive boy. He's becoming sensitive man. All right, let's see. He rolled tough. Wow, sensitive boy. Wow. Way to go. If we can get you a crafting trainer, you might. I mean, high, psychically hypersensitive, you know, not great, but yeah. To go with the theme, I guess we'll grow, grab melee on him. He came to us not great, but he's he's all right. Aside from the psychically hypersensitive, which we can deal with, but tough. Tough is great. Sensitive boy. Sensitive man. <laughs> we'll get him a real name. All those feelings made him strong. So we actually have two more single phase lined up. Sticks and stones won't break his bones, but mean words will hurt him. That is right. That's right. Exactly. Can we use the clip saying things out of context? Yeah, people do. Got a lot of those. A lot of those. So, psychoid on all that. So, when I get up from death rest, we're going to go on a raid. He would be a great psycaster. Uh, he would be okay. I mean, obviously, it helps with psycasting, but any kind of droner or something like that is going to make him break down real quick. Like, high psychic drone on someone that's high psychically sensitive is brutal. Leslie Niblitz. Thank you for the resub. Human sacrifice time. Uh, we're Everything is waiting on death rest to finish. And then we'll... We got a raid to do. We got we got rituals to do. We got a lot to do when, the, when that finishes. Why is Miner naked? You're right. I gotta... After he's done mining up there, I gotta put tainted clothing on him. Oh, look at that. We got tainted armor for you. Wow. Wow. Don't want you too slow, though. General XO. Okay, you're still wearing some tainted stuff. Good. Way to go. Way to go. Have a naked miner. Well, no, not this time. But we have had naked miners as well, yes. We've had both kinds, actually. He's got some sick tattoos. Oh, we've made him Canadian. I mentioned that like years ago and I have I, can, I cannot not think about it every time someone puts on I know it's a visor but every time someone puts on a recon helmet I'm like oh they're Canadian <laughs> thanks South Park if I have to see it every time you have to see it also some awful crimes against miners in this run yes yes there has Yes, there has. You thought it was a hockey reference? No, it's that line of the visor makes it look like the Canadian faces on South Park. I think so, anyway. All right, now we got drugs going. Drugs for days. Drugs for days. How many kids are we going to let Kid Jimbo have? You see it now, too? Should we, uh, should we maybe give him, give him a little, couple snips? Just one big snip? Yep. Not sure, not sure. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Nothing. I will never do hunting. All right, well, go stand right there and shoot those animals. Wait, is that hunting? Nope. On it. Drug man the other day on one of the streams because of the naming scheme. Thought to yourself, man, that'd be the worst superhero name ever. I think about that too when I see those things. Like uh, Abasia Boy. <laughs> it's like worst superhero of all time, Abasia Boy. All right, craft macaroni and cheese time. All 
Operation. Stall peg leg left. Stall peg leg right. Someone's gonna need to take him. Take him to the hospital bed. Not hunting. I'm defending my land. It's coming right at me. Oh, craft. Look at that hair. A bit like the drunk superhero playing by Will Smith. Oh, I forgot about that movie. I always think of, uh... Oh my god. I don't remember his name anymore. But there was a Comedy Central special like 20 years ago. The guy that did, did singing comedy. No, I'm not talking about that. I remember that. No. This guy did singing con comedy. And he had a song about uh, weird superheroes like that too. And if I could be a superhero. Anyone else remember that? It'd be Justice Guy. Something about making sure criminals get... Stephen Lynch, thank you. I had forgotten all about him. I haven't thought about him in years. Be Justice Guy. Doctor named Bob. No <laughs> hasn't heard that one. You should go check it out. Justice Guy. Man, God. Do I like the stream? <laughs> Megamind movie. First Megamind was pretty good. I don't think I watched anything else with him. Adventure of Blood Rot Man and a Beja Boy. Beja Boy. Get up, greed. Hold snap. Oh, snap. Uh, we should be alright under the mountain as far as that goes. If it gets too cold. They can come in this room. I'm sure the braziers are keeping it at least not freezing. And we got food. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, so Kraft has had their normal legs removed. And now we are going to remove their legs permanently. And then we're going to switch them over to Blood Bag. Kids movie, have you watched and liked more than you expected? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really like, um, so much like, oh, I won't watch things because they're for kids. There's quite a, there's quite a lot of like Disney and Pixar movies that I still enjoy. Like I'll watch with my wife or daughter. They're really good. Like when we, for, when Moana first came out and I watched Moana, I was like, wow, that was really good. I really liked Moana. Um, uh, another one that's a little bit older now, but that I never hear talked about as a, as a great one of those movies, like Disney movie, was Tangled. I really like Tangled as well. I haven't seen Lightyear. Your toddler's obsessed with Lightyear. Alright, so I am going to go out. Oh, they are getting too cold. They're actually getting hypothermia. These jerks. These jerks. I haven't seen Last Wish either. Angle soundtrack, losing your head, rent free. <laughs> so, let's see. We got some tainted clothing in here that will help. Even the tribal wear actually is decent. So put that on, see if that helps you. Yeah, that helps her enough. Okay. Cold snap should only last a few days, but... Bandolier, that's kind of interesting. There we go. That's good enough. Oh no, Kid Jimbo, that's right. You're a nudist. Uh, Jimbo, you're going to need to switch out of your nudist ways temporarily, okay? Jimbo. Jimbo. You can't just put a cape on and say you're no longer a nudist. It's got to be more than that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
1060th and Q at the moment. That doesn't seem too bad. I don't know how long you've been in it already. We're going to have to give him some tainted clothes thing temporarily too. Maybe. Maybe. Minor hypothermia in here. I mean, he will heal like any scars and stuff he gets from it, but... You no, know, he's pretty happy. We can give him... Tainted gear, and he can take it back off after... After this. Oh, it's the first time you've even seen a Q. Oh. No cape, nudist. With cape, exhibitionist. Prison break. Don't worry, I got it. I might kill most of them, but they should have thought about that before they tried to escape, I guess. Oh no! Our blood bags are dying of hypothermia. Just one of them. Crap, I just replaced it. I just rep or got a new one. These ones are... Minor. I guess we need to prepare for this for the future, huh? So let's, uh, let's put some heat in there, I guess. A little bit. Keep our blood warm. How long is it lasting here? Old snap still going. I'm going to do a day and a half. Yeah, I'm going to put some vents and a heater in there. Make fur beds. For beds make people sleeping in them immune to hypothermia? No. That's a must be a modded thing. I mean bed rolls, but it's not it doesn't do anything special like that. Oh, I don't have her on automatic automatic wake up. And the other ones are fine right now. Can that even get mined actually? No path, right? Wish you could just give them a blanket, yeah. <laughs> That's from Vanilla Expanded Vikings, you think? Six point nine days, okay. Need to go do that raid. Get out of there and stand somewhere warmer. Too bad it's not. Come on. Old snap. It can last like two and a half days or something like that. That door. Temperature in here. Oh, cold snaps over. Okay. So Jimbo can go back to nudist. Hey, we'll get this set up so our blood bags don't die next time. Kind of a weird setup, whatever. Whatever. It's all weird. The fur bedroll is in Alexander Vikings. All right, let's go on a raid. And then we got some festivals to do. Six people there. They are imps, which is a little scary, but we're going to take... How are you still cold? Uh, the sun blocker has made it a little chilly out. A little chilly out. Uh, they'll get over it. Probably. Or they'll die. 
whichever, you know. Let's make sure we get this done without as much risk. So... Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to switch over to more rice. Got a bunch of human meat we can throw in here too, though. If we need to. But we need to do a round of rice. Uh. All right, let's go rob some people. Weird seeing freezing temperatures in a year-long growing tile. Yeah, that sun blocker making things a little cooler. I forgot to put him on wake up automatically too. I'll do that next time. Definitely won't forget next time. All right, where are you guys? Come on. How we pack these camels? We got some people to rob. How many people threatening to refund the game? Yeah, it's always weird to me. Yeah. So like uh, an indie game does better than the developers expected and they don't have enough to like have as much servers or something. Like even huge companies like Blizzard or whatever end up having launch day or launch week problems with queues and servers or whatnot. So, I understand it sucks, but man, if you're if you're trying to get into a game that's like incredibly popular on release date, and then you're like threatening the developers because you can't get on, well, should those, those people definitely have some kind of problems? I would say victims of their own success. Personal blood closet. I thought about that, but the problem is when people go in there, I can't. Uh, I can't dictate when and who goes in there to get them. If it was just the single phase going in there every so often, it wouldn't be so bad, but they're actually waking up the people in the bedrooms. So, I mean, I could do it and just not care about disturbed sleep like I do with barracks. Don't think they understand why it takes a launch game. Yeah, for sure, but... Yeah, I don't know. People, people are crazy. People are crazy. Yeah, it's always <laughs> like I, I haven't looked into the hell diver thing, but I saw um, someone post like a meme thing about it in the discord. And it was something like. It was like when your first game only has 7000 players and you release your second sequel and it suddenly has 200,000 players and then it shows someone there was it was something like, why didn't the developers think of this? Like how how in the world would the developers know? Yeah, I know. I can send them blood feed instead. Yeah. Uh, what? That was weird. Wait, what is wrong with you? Food poisoning. What? Why are we separated? All right. Never seen that happen before. It's split on its own. No, don't come this way. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's only six, right? So... This has got someone downed. A strategic multi-prong attack. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Unintentional, but all right, get out of here. Uh, who are you? Now they're an imp anyway. All right, nice, nice. Sixty-nine components. Very nice. Should we grab your assault rifle? 
And we'll grab those two beers, because why not? All right, cool. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah, people are, people are crazy. Part of the problem is how they test the server strain. The install companies can't get launch day right. There's no way uh, so any company is going to know how many people are even doing, especially if they, like, like I said, they can't do like a server strain thing or whatever. Like, I'll grab a couple beers at the right call. All right, we also have to make a formal shirt to until we have X. X is one. I don't know. I'm not a developer, but I think people should just chill out <laughs> in general. And then what was the other thing that we needed? All right, I'm going to go ahead and make a crown sometime. Okay, we got a raid done. So what is our next? We're getting some research finished, which is good. Research is normal speed. We're waiting on babies. We're waiting on people to grow up. We're waiting on genes. And we need to be going and trading. So. Oh, we got home just in time. Oh, God. Uh, I don't even know if they can get in in time. You guys are going to have to go up here. We need some other entrances to the base, I guess. Traxo, get here. Ada. Miner. Other girl. This is the man. Okay, no explosives, at least. And it doesn't look like they're chasing these people. So we should be fine. Shotgun tunnel is pretty strong. It looks like it was the raid size of the wealth before people got back as well. Like that's a small raid compared to what we've been getting. I guess we got a little fortunate in that regard too. Oh, there's wasters. Yeah, I just kind of don't care about those. All right, we get all the animals brought back. Medical emergency. Uh, yeah, just execute them. I don't care. We got some fight too. Okay, so I wasn't expecting Cassandra to attack then. But I guess we were gone. I guess we left too late. Uh, we had to wait till death rest was up. So I guess that was a little bit longer than I than I thought. Okay. Jumper. All right, jumper. Peg leg left. Peg leg right. Earl, how many hydroponic pods you need per person? So, basically, if you are planting hydroponic rice and it's getting harvested and planted immediately every single time and turned into simple meals on losing its fun, it takes seven plots of hydroponic rice, so basically two basins. But in reality, it's not going to be planted immediately every time or harvested immediately every time. So it's not going to be exactly efficient. So I would typically say you just have three basins of rice per colonist and then you'll end up having a little bit of extra which is fine sky god summon you can pre-drown babies oh see an auction not included quote we had an animal farm going an auction not included where eggs would mass hatch in water i think this is what was going on and we were drowning the the creatures to use them for meat. Something like that. It's been a long time. Yeah. 
evolution chamber. Is that what people call it now? Hatch farms? Yeah, yeah. Two healer mech serums for a 16 by 35. Oh, right. We have the survivors. We should call the, them in and shop. All right, we'll see. Captions are going before you say things out of context now. Captions are some how a sentence ahead of you for you. That's weird. You try refreshing. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> how long has it been since I did an auction included stream? Uh, I don't know. Like two years or something. Maybe longer. Uh, uh, uh. Level six fast learner crafting. Well, I mean, it's not the crafter we want, but it might be the crafter we need. Yoink. Oh, they're still not mad enough about that? Okay, Jimbo needs death rest. Okay. Prisoner, we're going to convert and then enslave. This time, craft for real. Oh, I need to rename Miner now. Right. Miner. Miner, you get a real name. A real name like... We <laughs> wow. <laughs> Way to go, we you're in the you're in the run. You're a slave. Congratulations. Start setting sub goals for you to play games that are not included. Yeah, I have some ideas for stuff like that. <laughs> Green we woodpecker. <laughs> AI is out of sync. Surprisingly, <laughs> CPU intensive. Could remember all the factorio with your laptop. I didn't have any problems with Oxygen included. We were doing pretty big colonies, like thousand cycle colonies. I never really had any lag with Oxygen included. I don't know what to do with them while they're here. I, they're going to be really unhappy. I think I'm just going to have them murdered. I mean, I think I'm going to help them, or I think I'm going to have them help us with our food supply. Oh, God. Trin, you don't have your weapon back? Oh, no. Guys. <laughs> Yeah, put that out. We gotta get foam poppers down in more places. Uh oh. Um, crap. Does anyone have a popper? We're about to lose everyone. I can't put it out with any of the vampire people. He's gonna run. We's dead. I can't grab him. Trin's dead. We're about to lose all of our slaves. Well. Everyone out. We might lose the run here if I don't get everyone out. That'd be the first run I've ever lost to a Z event.
Muffin girl. All right, well, we got to get uh, poppers everywhere. Oh, no, this is catching fire, too. We're about to have a big reset. What happened? Uh, big z events. Uh... <gasps> no, EQ. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. J J the kid. Jimbo. Oh, no. Jimbo, no. All right. Open, 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 open. Deconstruct. Okay, uh, cave baby, come up here. You can't put that out. Okay, uh, other girl, you're not a vampire yet. Put out the fire. We gotta get in. He's, he's overheating right now. If you died, screw him. And you're lighting on fire. Yeah, that, that's great. Fantastic. Just drop them. Deconstructs. That room's not too hot yet with fire spreading. We're trying to make this all outdoors right now. Okay, so that is now outdoor. Okay, okay, okay. Jimbo. Wait now. Oh, he's pinned in with fire. I can't put that out. EQ. You get out. Right, he's afraid of fire too. Uh, who is not a vampire yet? Other girl. Wait, he fleed from that fire and then put out other fire? He moves up. He fleed that way. Uh, Christ. Okay. Other girl, we gotta put some of these out. EQ, get out of there. All right, well, all the super important people are alive. Things are contained ish. And now I need to invest in way more, way, way more uh, fire foam poppers. Man, what a bad time. I had people, I had the people that could put fires out, outside, killing these guys. That room is still too hot. We need to get rid of this door. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, foam turret moment. Yeah, I mean, we have one fire bobber, but it's, it's nowhere that can help with that. 
Okay, so that temperature stabilized. That room is pretty friggin' hot. All right, well, we're gonna have to start over as far as slaves go, but since the end, he has an infection from the from the burn. So we'll pre-tell after all this is done. Next raid will probably be tiny. Yeah. Yeah, we are maxed out on adaption. We gotta get a door rebuilt here now, though. Or else next raid can just pour right friggin' in. Oh, what a mess. Uh, okay. We almost lost a run. Almost lost a run. Devoted to the burn box. Yeah, and there are some more prisoners up here that if they survive, we will be able to continue to use. We have no one that can use ranged anymore. All that is gone. Ugh. That sucks. All right. So what do we have in here then? We've got... We're just going to have to take whatever right now, pretty much. So we need to convert both of these. We also need to preach health on a sensitive man. Ouch. There was no enemies. Yeah, there was no enemies to burn. That was just, uh... That was a zit event. You know, man. Okay, we gotta get this remade. Yeah, next raid is gonna be much smaller. No empty accessible spot. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a zone that moved. Okay, so now at least this kill area is set up again. We need another door down there. What do we have? We have limestone. Well, Exo finally died. Exo is a slave that's been with us for like the whole game. But they are gone. Hey, baby survived. <sighs> All right. We hardly knew we. Let's look at the wealth chart. Oh my. <laughs> uh, we dropped fifty thousand wealth. Fifty thousand wealth and like six slaves. So yeah, the next raid is gonna be tiny. They count for adaption. Okay. Oh, we need steel really badly. No one's good at mining. We need to do these events if we get a miner. Join three for the adaption. We also lost all those components we went to get, right? Yep. We lost all the components we went and got. So we probably had a hundred components that are gone. I just hadn't put them in here because I hadn't started using them yet. Ouch. Is there a rigor mod? Yeah. I, we would have been fine if I hadn't been out killing those refugees. If I had brought them inside to kill, we just put the fire out, but... I didn't, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so mining. We're going to have to have someone do some mining now. This is a man. You're going to have to do the mining. And is there enough steel for this? All right. Instead of man, I know you're getting over an il illness, that's right, illness, but got some important stuff for you. Tactical wealth management, no, that really sucks. Really sucks. Uh. 
All right, well. Hydroponics are working again, so that's good. Butcher table, butcher forever, drop on the floor, butcher everything. Comms console needs back up. That can wait as well. Toxic fallout. Okay. And there's about to be a birth. Would we have been screwed if all of our colonists are already phage? We would have had to have... We would have lost Kid Jimbo and everyone else would have, ha would have had to stay outside and this toxic fallout might have killed us. <laughs> oh, moral... Three? I don't have any plans at the moment. I haven't looked at it, though. A rat name. They have a mountain base. Ah, the vampires are immune to toxic crap anyway, so... It would, it would suck for the others. Okay, so we need to see if we get a join from a festival that can help us these things. So let's go ahead and do the dances here. Room impressiveness is low. Oh, it's not a room anymore. So we had to deconstruct that door. That's why. That's one reason why. That's why all these friggin' animals are everywhere now, too. Okay, baby, you need to be cleaning. Hey, baby, you have your own room full of rifles? Don't mess with Cave Baby. This is Cave... This is Cave Baby's room. <laughs> Three-year-old kid. <laughs> I destroy a vampire's brain? Yes, yes. It can burn the brain, yep. What a mess. Okay, 76. Uh, is it still? Hang on. Oh, we didn't finish it. Okay. Alright. Uh, that's good enough. Let's just do it. All right. Hopefully we get a join. Boring. Excellent. Fantastic. What do you think of the Elden Ring DLC? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, excited about it. A licensed electrician. <laughs> Trying to uh, check. I was saying something. There's a phone pack on the shelf. Yeah, I didn't see it. See, I knew we had a phone pack somewhere. Vessels are disco nights. Uh, two of them are, yeah. We didn't get a joint event from it either. Another baby, another baby. Contracting people, it's pretty good. That kid Jimbo has been prolific. A healthy baby. All right, fire baby. Born after the great fire of 5506. Uh, it's still on Cassandra right now, yeah. I thought about switching though. Yeah, just throw, throw him, throw him out over there. Get him away from you. I put fire baby in there. Okay. And 
Once fire baby's in there, we will... Where are you, where are you taking him? Oh, that makes sense. Insulting spree. Well, no one's going in there then. Birds. Birds. It's a little dirty in there. It's a little. Oh, what a mess. Okay. Man, I was really hoping we get a uh, join. Uh, do we still have any of the quests? Farming sites nearby. Oh, we still have the drone hack. Hmm. Fun Blade Rave 2, Electric Boogaloo. What to say? Blade Rave 2, Bloody Boogaloo. That's right. We have two more chances at a joint event. One from social, or, uh, yeah, social gathering. And one from a duel. We'll throw them in the... The vat, and then let's try this here. 92%. And it sucks. Uh, unforgettable, no joint event. You're still insulting people. The other one's not a joint event. So the other joint event that we have is the duel. So I guess we'll do that one momentarily. Weapon use plus 20%. Okay. We even have it. Like, uh, we can put the thrombo horns in there. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, Jimbo needs death rest. Yeah, he got woken up a little early for some reason, huh? A little early. You actually need one of those also. Hugh does to we'll just put one in there. Whoever gets it gets it. Okay. Man, getting reset like that sucks. I would have taken all those if I'd done that, but obviously no way to know. And from now on to let's do a different stockpile here. So I can know where these are. Yep. Price is a belief. It could be good. Oh yeah, we can convert him really quickly now. So when he wakes up, we can do conversion on him. Hopefully that gets him over, and then we can enslave him. At least we'll have one more person that we can start going back with. Boom turret. Boom turret would have been okay if it was like in that area, but just a popper would have been fine. We would have been fine just literally had I not been out here killing the refugees. Yeah, it drops 50%. Crisis of Belief is always my, or 50% uh, change, yeah. Even yeah, if I just managed to find the foam pack, but I was, I was, uh, frantically trying to do things with, with no pause, so I just, didn't, didn't see it. Didn't see it. Okay, so when he gets up, or I guess when Kijimbo gets up, we'll just the first. Cargo, animal starvation. Yeah, there's no one making meals anymore. The camels. We don't even have the stove remade yet. Person mining is terrible at it. Processor. Uh, let's grab. Bionics. Yeah, the Christ and Belief is always 50%. Yeah, always 50.
We're just gonna make this a room now instead. That'll be fine. We'll just be a, a blood room instead of tiny blood room. Single rooms. Yeah, sorry, camels. Uh, leg. <sighs> this is considered a making the whole place a prison at the moment. So we gotta get that wall back in. You can't have, that's why I'm going with this time for the 15 months. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, I've screwed up a lot during this run, but it's made for stories. Uh, dash 31 months. What kind of war crimes are we up to today? Vampire daycare war crimes. Again, uh, loathing for the six months. Also much appreciated. I think I, I think, yeah, I'm caught up. My microphone was blocking the bottom of the list, but I think, I think I'm caught up. Okay, so we need some components, man. We had a hundred components burn. Roughly a hundred components. God, that sucks. Really sucks. It was more like, yeah, like right after the fire. That would have sucked too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put myself on unrestricted. We're going to go get these. Risky, risky. Most entertaining runs is the melee con. So. It's in something, all right. Damaged ship. Okay, so this could be a way to get some more prisoners. It's really dangerous, though, because we don't have any ranged. Uh, wealth management just really, really sucks, honestly. How are the Empire feeling about us right now, too? Because we fail this. Oof. It's not good. It's not good. I probably shouldn't risk it. Uh, let's get the stove made next. And we're going to have to put Muffin Girl on cooking. Okay, make baby food. Do until we have X. Tin, drop on the floor. It's fine. Human meat baby food. Mmm. All right. And then you cook some meal. Do until we have X. Tin is fine. Five right now. Uh... That's for the camels. Baby back ribs. Mm. Why all melee again? They are single phase. Yeah, bonuses to melee. It wasn't all melee until five minutes ago. See, these, these used to have owners. The single phase are melee. So. Smelt weapon. Do forever, man. We don't have a crafter anymore either at all. Oh, that sucks. Uh, melee weapons. Don't smelt the long sword. Otherwise, you can smell all of it right now because we are able to get better weapons. Okay. No assault rifle. Smelting. No smoke launcher. Otherwise, I think we're good. We actually can't do those ones, right? Okay. Just making sure. Smelt apparel. Do forever. Turn off utility. Painted only. Uh, are we good to start? Oh, we get no vampire brides. Why do you only have melee people? Because our, our six people with assault rifles just died. Uh, Judicus, thank you for the double digits, the 10 months, the vampire daycare. 
Vampire Burn Victim Ward. Okay. Uh, that's all I'm going to do for right now. We don't have a lot to smelt anyway. Don't really have anyone to do it either. Maybe he can get better at it over time, but... Melee Gods, Melee Devils? It's been a while since Melee Gods, though. Oh, wow. They get room at the top. That was a ancient danger that we just haven't repurposed because we have too much to do. Much to do. Yeah, that was an ancient danger. Ah, oh, Christ. I'm gonna have to get on plants. Yep. I have no one else. We're gonna run out of human meat for too long. They won't they won't smell grenades. Won't do it. Oh. I did have it on. I've been. Thanks. <laughs> no reason I thought I'd already said it. Like, nah, they won't they won't be spelled. They're already done. I caught up and just now getting in, don't see range saw in one of the YouTube videos that a slave thrall had a long range weapon and liked it. That plus that was before I was switching everyone over to yeah, that was early. Where I was switching everyone over to our ideology. Ooh. Oh my god, it's a group of children. Why? It's a genie child. All goods. Yeah. Hey, are you converted? He is converted. So, enslave. Converted. Where are you? Sure. We just need people right now. They're dead. Okay. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, we're going to get this uh, little genie person. Which one was the genie? We're going to make you grow fast so you can craft things for us. There's a little high mate child too. Jonathan. John, Nathan. All right. Are we bring loyal? Ah, we're going to probably enslave them anyway, but... Right this way, Jonathan. Hey! Let me roll alone, Gotti. Oh, you pulled out a knife? Get out of here. How does he turn this high mate into a single phage? Um, high mate are not germline genes, so it, they they lose... Most of, they just change over. You know, they lose most of their stuff. Take care's back in business. Yeah. Yeah. Convert this kid. Oh. Um. It's good for you, kid. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we knew that was about to happen. They had the plague. So Kijimbo's back up. We need to do the battle. Hopefully we can get a join from that. Okay. The Battle of Worth. You know what? It picked them. We're just going to go with it. All right. You guys ready to wager your real fake channel points on the winner of this? I'm not going to show you their stats or anything. We don't know. There's only one weapon in the arena. We don't know who's going to get it. All right. Who wins? Wukash versus Basculo. If you're on Twitch, you can use your real fake channel points to wager. You got one minute. Let's see. Give them juice. All right. Let's see. Let's see. The married couple. Hey, why are you wearing clothes again, Jimbo? All right, let's see, let's see. Wukash. Wukash, surely, right? 
He is an Etikin, but we don't know. We don't know. I'm not looking at any of the stats. Vampire daycare feels like that. A Skulo easy peasy. I don't know. Why are you wearing clothes again, Jimbo? Here we go. Who's going to get... I think Wukash gets the weapon. The RNG, I think, is giving Wukash the weapon. A speech about grit and struggle. I talked about grit and struggle. <laughs> I only have one, one thing I talk about. Hey, that's cheating. Hey, I don't make the rules. I mean, I made the rules for this one. But, uh... Oh, well. Oh, we got... All right, let's look now. Neanderthal versus Itakin. Oh, he got the weapon. So hopefully he kills him. <laughs> oh! Fast with a dodge. Oh, but then half half health in a single hit. Jesus. Kill him. One hit. You might kill him. We might get a kill here. Our first kill. Nice. All right. Let me pay the people out. All right. The Wookiee wins. There you go. There you go. That could have been Spider. Yeah. <laughs> Put all your points on that. Boring. We got so unlucky. It's so crazy that was 100% and we still got boring. Duelist dies, 100% extra quality. Weapon use, plus 20. Leader present, plus 20. Total quality, capped. And we still got boring. They knew it was rigged. I ripped their skull out. Where is that, too? Muffin girl, I need you to... There we go. Chewie, the Wookiee wins. Brutality. That's right. This is boring because you lost. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go, Warg. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Vampire the Mono Sword. Works to no chance. Okay, well, we don't have any more festivals for a while. Uh, what are our options here? So they are ready to enslave. They will be in really soon. Jimbo, go ahead and convert this kid. Wow, pretty big jump. Big jump. A mess. Take a song. Yeah, we will after he's enslaved. We also need to make another mind screw, which... Oh, we lost all those mind screws. Man, we lost so many components, both in, like, just things and... Like, actual components burning, right? Ah. Sucks. Another thing, too, is if that z event happens in, like, any other room, we're safe. But it literally happened in the worst room. Does Wukash get a mood buff? I don't know. I didn't even click on mood. Hang on. <laughs> Look in a sec. Uh. Okay. Do I have toxic fallout out there? Had a bad raid? No. All the raids have been very easy. I had it. I had people outside that the people that could put out fires were outside killing refugees. I had a Z event in this room that lit the entire room on fire and burned most of our stuff and killed all of the slaves. Literally all of them. Christ of belief. Good job, kid. I can be imprisoned. I mean, enslaved. 
Actually, if I'm... We should recruit him, actually. We're going to raise him in the daycare. He is a genie, but... <sighs> nice, man. All melee now. Mm. Okay, so grab gun, health, let's take your tongue, Okay, I'll take that, romance, I don't think so, uh, Kid Jimbo is doing it, okay, oh, <laughs> uh, is this tainted? No. There's there's some tainted stuff. So once you get up, put on... Well, when you get up, we'll have you put on this stuff. It's origin, where enslaving is a good thing. Just making... Just for making a slave out of him. Yeah, otherwise... Because, so we tried having enslaving people that weren't our ideology. But did not work out with this at all because of our modded preset terror slavery. The prisoners, we take the tongue because it makes them unhappy. Want them super unhappy. Grizzly Rogers. Not, I remember that name. No mind screws. All the mind screws are gone. Yeah, and I don't have anyone else that can make them right now. Grizzly Rogers, thank you for the seven months. Very much appreciated. Is uranium mace a good weapon? Ur uranium mace is the best blunt weapon that you can craft yourself. So yeah, they're they're decent. Alright, so we'll get uh Genie Boy recruited here. Start raising them. <sighs> so Wukash is too happy right now. Oh, he's got a shield belt. What? Take that off. And then on this tainted stuff. Shield belt, toxic pack, yeah. Toxic pack, also don't really want that on. I kill that rat up here. Who's nearby? Hey, EQ fan, go stab this rat. Yeah, we gotta get all this closed off again sometime. Don't get a new limb or turn green if you use uranium, uranium mace? No. No, we've had people sleep in uranium beds before, and it's that's always interesting to see. It's like, are they gonna... Cancer? No, no, it's fine. Bring an outpost. 12 tribes, people. What do we have for raids nearby? Seven people, a wood camp. 14 people, chocolate. I said I was giving you ideas for prisoners and colonists. So. <sighs> Alright. So we got one slave again. He's going to clean and haul for now. And then... I guess he can help grow things if he has nothing else to do. Let's get him a name. Man, that sucks we lost all this. So wouldn't make a lot of progress today, but screwed up. Well, now we know next time, make sure we bring. If we're going to execute passerbys, we should bring them into the base. Yeah, yeah that's what we learned. <laughs> and that's all. God, that was the absolute worst place that could have happened. Crazy. Crazy bad luck. Oh, I meant to check.
What even says the percentage? That's interesting. I don't see... Yeah, I don't see anything. Your rival died. He was rivals with all the blood bags and stuff. Oh. Prisoners take pace from dispensers that is set for colonists. Um... Oh yeah, if you mean if you do the like not a prisoner trick, yeah, they'll they'll eat from it. That's what I had going up, on up here for a while. I should get that going again, actually. Slave for life, your life is over. My rival is dead. Okay, I guess we. Nothing we can do. We just uh, we just wait. Let's see, we're good on death rest. Good on death rest. Death rest. Okay. Muffin already had baby number two. Yep. Should be fine as long as you wrap your uranium weapon in a plastic bag. <laughs> You almost, you almost ready, Genie boy. Genie boy. Well, it's going down slowly too. I know. Yeah, we gotta get more prisoners. I'm hoping for a Cassandra raid. I'm also really curious what the size is gonna be. All right, Genie boy. Hey, Genie Boy, let's see what happens to you. I mean, with you. Let's see what happens. How old are you? Five, okay. I mean, we could blood feed off the children if it comes to it. This room looks like a big nutrient-based sensor. Is that, uh... No, no, it's not intentional. And Hunter. I need... I need human bodies. Humanoid bodies. Wow, look how small the raid points are after that. Jeez. Only seven bears. <laughs> Ugh. Crazy. Extract them from the kids. I don't want to slave them to do that. We'll just buy empty page if we need to. Uh, when everyone's having a good day. Everyone outside of my colony probably is. What was gender of the second baby? Uh, I didn't even look. A male. Male. Man, that sucks. We lost all those components. I do think we had over 100. We had 69 from the raid. We got... Oh, we lost all the wood, too. That was probably part of the reason why it burned so so much. Man. Hey, a logging site with four people. All right. All right, bears. Leave so I can go tag these people. Jim Bob and Muffin are going to pump out a strong bloodline. Yeah, it looks like. Anything interesting happened since the great bonfire of December? No, <laughs> nothing yet. I mean, there was a childbirth right after the fire, but aside from that, not so much. We we uh, we took in another young child. We took in Genie Boy. So. 
I guess that happened. Guess we just play another tab. I was bopping my head to the beat of it perfectly. <laughs> like that Gandalf meme, dancing meme. <sighs> the birth makes a vampire. No, vampire genes aren't passed on your childbirth. You're a xenogene, so you have to be injected. Best raid music. All uh, right, so let's have you you go kill these couple bears that are left. Hopefully. Yeah, they shouldn't attack. They should just leave. Oh god, that one's still aggroed. No, it isn't. Just kidding. All right, I'm going to go off and see if I can get some prisoners. We'll get this raid done, see if we can get some prisoners from it and bring back some wood. Hopefully everyone's going to be okay while I'm gone. All right. And we need to open this again. Cave, baby. Come open this. Plays assault weapons. Serum worlds. Fire baby. It's already become a child. Nice. Pop him out. Alright, fire baby. Wait. Who? Whose bed is this? Who's a crap are you? Was that my character's dad that he saved forever ago and let him go? <laughs> I think I think it is, isn't it? Maybe. One of those people that we saved a long time ago. Uh, yeah, someone that we saved. Uh, N.D. White. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, White. They grow up so fast when suspended in growth hormone. That they do. That they do. All right, genie boy. Put you down on the list here. Grab these. Try going medieval. I played it just for a few hours when it like was in a very early alpha stage, and I said I would come back to it. And I just haven't, I haven't come back to it yet. So not, not really. I would say. I have to really tried it. Kind of tried it. Yeah. Okay, I guess even though they're really bad at mining steel, we're just going to have them do so anyway. I'll rebuild that. We're going to make the place look like a good evil vampire labor layer. Hopefully. I keep it in reset. Yeah, hopefully. Someone also posted a mod that adds like vampire themed furniture and stuff. I might even add that later. We can We can get there. <laughs> 17th anniversary. Nice. You're going to a wedding to celebrate? <laughs> That's too fat crew. Oh my god. Next year will mean my wife and I have been together as a couple for 20 years. No, what? I'm not even 20 years old. What are you talking about? All right, let's do this raid. Forget I said that. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Oh, all right. Let's go. All melee. Please don't kill me. Oh, not all melee. Okay. Someone's by themselves. Get him. 
Oh, get that one. <laughs> Wait, I need prisoners. Crap. Well, we didn't get any prisoners, guys. <laughs> We got wood. We got wood, though. Yeah. Well, what you gonna do? I guess you're gonna kill everyone. That's what you're gonna do. All right. Bring that wood back home for our Brazia. Reduce pain gene, make them fight until they die. Yeah, I mean, death on down chance is still pretty high right now with how many people we have, too, but... Well, it's cool. It even changed the look of the walls. I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's interesting. Genie bit. Genie boy. Yeah. Genie boy. Cave baby, fire baby, genie boy. <sighs> no, no. Okay. <laughs> so crazy that that's one of our big big problems right now. Not again! <laughs> I don't even have the stuff to really make more poppers right now. We lost so much in the Great Fire of 5506. Alright. My god! How old are you two? 17 and 18, and they're on to their third child. Jimbo. Inspired trade. You got inspired for trade while you're getting some loving? <laughs> He's thinking about business. He's thinking about business. Ringy confirmed. Uh... How's it going, Sensitive Man? Wow, look at you, level 4 in mining already. You're getting there, my friend. Just doing some simple math. Is that like thinking about baseball? <laughs> no comments. He's trying to advance math problems in his head so he doesn't think about other things. This is Jimbo's colony, after all. God. He was thinking about business. Business was good. <laughs> God. Well, I guess we're just going to raise the people we need. Kept calling Jimbo the anime protagonist, but we failed to specify which genre. Now we know. Now we know. Thought we meant. Never, nah, never mind. <laughs> Get quoted. A harem vampire. Um, jeans are done in eleven days, so we can make another vampire in eleven days. Yeah, we need to get a couple more ranged characters, though. We got empty page now. We we need a couple more slaves. Uh, how many more days? We got eight days on the festival. Jimbo is the grower of the colony. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Seven people there. We could probably take that one out too. We don't need the wood, but if we could get colonists, prisoners from there. Seven people is a little scarier. We need death rest soon too. Let's just go ahead and grab that. I might take one person with me if we go there. Probably take empty page. I think we could do it, the two of us. Also, I'm side casting now, so. Yeah. You love the Rimworld names <laughs> that they get until they earn real names. I mean, I don't know. Naming people like that in real life would be terrible. Why am I called Fire Baby? Well, the day before you were born. Uh, we had a big fire and six innocent people died 
we had them in chains and they were trying to put out the fire and they they roasted to death so we decided to name you after that event oh we got chaos skip word of joy and chunk skip so far so not good really but it's what we get it's what we get Oh, actually. At least the name has some lore to it. The name should be Ember. We have the theme, you know. Fire baby. Do, 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 do. You guys remember Muppet Babies? No? Okay. Me either. Circadian influence is done. Nice. Uh, love Muppet Babies as a kid. How come they only ever showed the nanny's legs? Lots of shows did that kind of thing. Cartoons and otherwise back then. Like Home Improvement and Wilson. You ever saw his face? It's the eyes. Okay, I'm a running gag. Classic Lunatoon style, yeah. Yeah. Go back and watch Fraggle Rock. It doesn't hold up. Hey, Thrumbo. So the problem with Thrumbo now is you don't have a bunch of people to sit there and shoot them. Roasted slave baby. <laughs> it has a different ring to it for sure. R M up babies as well. Nephews watch them. Good to have me six innocent people. A little out of perspective. <laughs> Now, why did those people die again? Well, when we were when we had everyone outside executing some refugees, uh, there was a electrical fire in the base. When you were outside doing what? Uh, tend tending to some visitors. Yeah, tending to some visitors. Yeah, that's what, that's what we were doing. Uh, I'll be right back. I, Cassandra's actually able to attack us right now, so I gotta hurry. I'll be right back. blew my nose. I don't know why allergies are so bad today. I mean, it's been 60. It was 60 for a couple of days, and I think everything outside was like, it's time. No, it's not. I'm not. Sleepy G. Uh, all right, let me split the recording. Splitting the recording is going to make it easier for the editor, and the editor is starting to do the edits as of today. All right, recording has been split. Back in so smooth and still supportive of that chair. It's true. That is true. We're back. We never left. Uh, What if I destroy all the other people nearby so that we get reputation? So right now we have something that gives us reputation. We're getting reputation with these tribals instead of the pigs. Oh god, we... yeah. That would suck to come back and empty pages is gone. Yep, see ya. See ya. Oh, he's just hauling crap. Whatever. Whatever. Fine. Uh, yeah, the pigs we're actually neutral with right now. So that's what, that's what I was thinking. Like, if we get rid of this tribal base here, then our ritual will give us pig rep. And then we just don't have to worry about giving them stuff. We're already, we're already neutral. We just maintain neutrality. I guess. 
right. Um, so Cave Baby is five, Fire Baby three, Genie Boy is five as well. So those two are gonna grow up first. Then we have another baby on the way. I'm up from Death Rest. Okay, so I'm gonna go hit that other place, me and Empty Page, and hopefully we get some prisoners this time. Man, I would even be okay if we got ambushed. I know that's like really dangerous to say, but it would give us an opportunity for potential prisoners. I think we'd be okay. I right, started my weekend. Oh god, I don't know. It was going it was going pretty well until we got completely reset. Hosting the aristocrat. We don't have the stuff for that right now. How many infestations do you already have this run? I don't even know. A lot. I would guess like 10 infestations. The first event today was an infestation. Food binge on er other girl. Uh, you're a neurotic, right? Jimbo's lineage continues. Rebuffed by Kid Jimbo. Hey! Other girl, you better not be some kind of home wrecker with Jimbo the Kid and Muffin Girl. How many infestations still considered bugs being on? That's a good question. I don't, I don't know. I could have my character romance other girl. Yeah, she can't regrow that arm. Yeah. She will get an arm someday. And you're awfully eager to leave the map, Empty Page. The crap? Are questions about bugs a wall? Yes. Hey, there's some... Jump packs laying over. Jump pack tech print laying over here. <laughs> some visitor must have died at some point, and the other stuff they had must have deteriorated with the stuff that doesn't deteriorate. Still there. All right, so we're raiding here against seven people. Hopefully, melee. We'll see though. Uh, melee. All melee. Pigs, okay. So let's go with combat command. Here go, Juice. Nice shot. Keep that combat command on him. Hey! Wake up! Oh, you jerk. <gasps> Fire! Uh-oh. Take him out! Oh god, frag grenade! Ugh. No, I need prisoners. <laughs> Crap. Oh, there's one. Then one hour. Nervous brawler planter. Do I even want to take this? I mean, I guess I might as well. Fling fire. Still a turret. Uh, Christ. Yeah, the turret's gonna make it so we can't leave on time. Around here. I could use his ability, but I'm afraid 
that he's going to stand up. Because sometimes when you heal all the runes, they just stand up. I don't want that yet. Fling fire. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess we might as well take that with us. And he friggin' died. Yeah, drop him. And we're gonna have to drop, uh... This stuff weighs like nothing, but we're gonna have to drop some of the wood. Alright, well, no prisoners, but another raid completed. That's second at Forbes, yeah. I didn't want to coagulate because a lot of times they just stand up and then we kill them anyway, so it was a risk either way, I guess. I guess I should have done so. He probably was in enough pain with that close to being dead that it would have been fine. But. Uh, we got rituals coming up in four days. See the Elden Ring DLC? Yes, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it. An imp. Alright, let's go. Ambush. What do they have? Should be fine then. Nice. Alright. Uh, mining? Okay. Maybe. Prisoner. <laughs> now we got him. He's down there. He's down there. We need some more blood bags either way. Even if we don't end up enslaving him. <clears throat> Is that a wookie slave? Could be good for war call. Yeah, yeah, wookie slave. Yeah, he does have the animal call thing if we really needed it there. On an ambush. He from Deep Rock Galactic <laughs> Imp Not Dwarf. Okay, so we gotta decide if we... I think we enslave him. So we, we really need some more shooters right now. We need six. So let's convert, but I'm pretty sure we're just gonna enslave after that. Busy creating your own mod? See mountain base? Uh, yeah, yeah. Lone mountain, a lone mountain. What kind of mod did you make, Clash? A lot of wood back with us. The nasty slave mod stop extreme breaks on slaves. It does only if they're under 5%. And it's sometimes harder to keep them under 5% than you would think. <laughs> so yeah, as long as they're under 5. So we actually want to see them red. Infection... Let's get a lung. Right. Grim World, forty K Warhammer. Necrons and own storyteller. That's pretty cool, yeah. Got Tyranids then already. 
attacked by waves of zerglings. They're not zerglings. New DLC for Emerald, what would it be? Uh, it's interesting how often we have that conversation. It does surprise me, though. But, so there's two things to think about when you're thinking about possible... Possible uh, Rimworld DLCs. One is what is not in the game at the moment that they could add that would add stories because the developers are all about organic stories in Rimworlds. And the second thing is Rimworld was a Kickstarter game. What was in the Kickstarter that never... Uh, which, which goal didn't get reached, that didn't get fleshed out completely since then? And the Kickstarter thing is ideology... Or not ideology, excuse me, archaeology. So I wouldn't doubt if we'd have some kind of archaeology related something or another or even if it is rimworld archaeology but yeah no one really knows aside from ludian of course but they're not telling first ass off which people vote for oh uh, gotcha i always want to make mods and you realized you can't make the art On track, welcome in. Oh, the war is over. Everybody knows the good guys lost. But we're the good guys because we're the ones writing the story. So we're the good guys. I guess. I guess. All right. So we'll have a second shooter finally. We're getting our research done. We need to. We don't have enough to go trade, really. Yeah, so right now we're just kind of waiting, waiting on stuff. Love the evil single phase runs. Oh, this is an extra evil one for sure. Sure. They're barely beating that. I don't want to, uh, they're not even converted, so I can't use preach health on them anyway. See what happens, I suppose. <sighs> Yeah, but at the moment, that's just we're kind of kind of just recovering from what happened before. How long until that Empire base resets? Whoops. Uh, they have restocked. We can also go trade with the pigs. Pigs are much closer by. Yeah, that can be fine. We don't have a lot to trade, but even trading off some of these dromedary for something that we need. Would be, be really handy, of course. Keep an eye out for those genes for the slaves. Make them more unhappy. Oh, you know what? We should try to get depressive from this guy. So if we end up getting them recruited, we really should try to extract the depressive gene and give that to all the slaves. ABCs, yeah. God, got a hundred burns, so. Bane blade. Uh, yeah, as you probably know, I don't really play many odd, many mods, or especially very many overall mods, but I can take a look. We're actually on the map, multiplayer. Nice. Sounds like a big project. A raid! Prepare for a while. Okay, we're back up to a little over 30 raiders. Which, oh man, it, luckily it's tribal, but we might have to... They're going to be unhappy, but we might have to have them grab guns during this. Yeah, I will. They're going to be unhappy. They're using a... Different weapon, but, you know... They'll be... Happier than being dead, probably. Probably. And we're going to have to take off their shield belts during this. It was up. Ten minutes ago. And you have since found three legendaries. Nice. And a set item. Way to go, okay, baby. Wearing that shield belt. Way to go. 
Come on, prisoners. How much negative is using the wrong weapon? Five, but they also get another, I think, minus five for using it. Like, wielding it is a debuff, and using it is also a debuff, but... Mo, go heal them. I'll be fine. What are you, okay, baby? down two of them sucks okay and then we want to coagulate this one so what do we get over here she told her oh we could force drugs on them <laughs> it's so crazy every time i see stuff like this now it's like oh i i can see how i could would torture that slave nice okay thermal horn thermal horn thermal horn Man, they're gonna be really unhappy use, having used those weapons. See. Uh, and this one isn't good at anything, which is kind of nice because they won't be happy, or they don't have any passions or anything. I should say. So we'll reduce will, and then we gotta try to convert them with our conversion stuff rather than just. People going in there and talking to them. And gotta make sure I re-equip that shield on Muffin. All right. This is their kidneys. So if they get an infection, they're gonna probably just die. <laughs> And brings out the best people. New and interesting torture methods. That's right. That's right. Okay, so Cassandra can hit us again, hopefully with another raid. Okay, we're going to allow human corpses there, but only fresh. Exhaustion. Ah, you'll get over it. It's fine. Uh, if I go ahead and convert them. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on them first. The swan. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to convert them the old-fashioned way. We're gonna have them fight to the death in the arena. You plan to play some 40k mods? Theme playthrough? No, I don't have any plans at the moment. No, but if I ever do, I, I'll know where to look. You know, but I don't have any of those playing at the moment. Yeah, mainly mainly play very lightly modded or even no mods. Uh yeah, when they wake up, we'll just convert them. The faster we get some extra shooters down there the better. 203 gold, nine people guarding. He loses his legs. Uh, he did lose both legs, yeah. So he's already ready to be a blood bag then. Nice. 
We needed more blood bags. That's perfect. Don't have to prepare him. Uh, I'm gonna go with care. I'm gonna mispronounce your name and let me know. Uh, thank you for the brand new sub. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Counts the same as a tier one sub. Appreciate it. EQ fan. Let's go ahead and have you death rest. Love and girl, I'll have you as well. They're convenient for leg surgery swords, yeah. Well, he's told me four state drugs anyway. No, because we don't need him to be unhappy because he can't do anything anyway. Okay, so that one is converted. Uh, Tyler, thank you for the super chat. Always learn a lot from watching me. Uh, yeah, you can learn a lot of war crimes from this series. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for the support. Zai, while in the control of your colonists, upset if you don't bury them. Is it a bug? Uh, I, I wouldn't consider it a bug. Maybe it's an oversight. But yeah, any colonists that are on your bar up here that are left unburied, you're going to get that, that message that colonists is left unburied. So, yeah. You can also just put their bodies in a zone and it'll count. Okay, so this one, mining, chemical interest. We are going to, we need more shooters, right? Yeah, that's that one. So we're going to enslave them. We don't even need to convert this one, really. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So we can just put them as a hemogen farm. Don't think it should matter. So upset about your loved one being sold? Oh, it's almost been two years. Wow. Firefoam poppers are for more than just trading. <laughs> I usually use firefoam poppers in, in certain important areas, especially in mountain bases. But, uh, I don't know, I just... I figured we could put things out if, if it came to it, but, uh... I hadn't planned for myself taking everyone outside that could put out fires and then a fire happening, but... Should always plan for worst-case scenario, I guess. So, Zeno, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, use those fire foam poppers. Medical emergency... Oh. Waste pack infestation. Um, so that's Cassandra's second event. How big are they now? I don't have a lot of firepower anymore. I mean, we could do that. We could also just have it take care of the next enemy. Hmm. There's a lot of mass devil screen growths. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have to take care of it right now either way, but. Oh, that supplier. Okay. I was about to say, they're just going to walk right into it. If the next raid, I mean, if it's a human raid, we kind of want to fight them. But yeah, this would be great for a mech raid or a mech cluster or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, we don't have to deal with it right this second, so. We got plenty of things to do inside the base. Children to raise. Things like that, you know. We definitely could kill them, especially the next slave. Coming in. So this is the one that we need to use convert on. On, on cooldown. They're going to be upset by it, but oh well. 56%. Alright. Let's try it. 54. Hey, that's better than half. How many guys early to raids? How long do you... Uh, stick with the trap tunnel? If you are staying low on wealth, I usually... If I'm, if I'm trying to be super safe like I used to play... I generally stick on it until I get like bolt action rifles at least. But a trap tunnel into a shotgun tunnel can last you like the shotgun box like this is so strong if you know how to use it. It can last you for pretty much ever aside from breaches and sappers. So um 
Man Hunter. Oh no. What's this? Oh right, waste packs are not. Waste pack infestation are not a uh, an event. They don't count as an event. Yeah, and I mean, if you are on a map where you have like infinite wood, you know, there's wood growing all the time, you're long growing, jungle, super forest, whatever, then it's not a big deal to replace the traps. And you can stay low, get your research done, get to at least some bolt actions and uh, mortar before you expand if you really want. But using the shotgun tunnel, terrible conversion, great. It's just really strong. I still have a, I have a guide that I've mostly made. I just need to record some examples of it working i already have all the audio uh and and whatnot done i just need to do that for the shotgun box shotgun tunnel whatever blood and dust is five percent no blood and dust isn't even what is blood and dust like i mean losing is fun is 220 percent 500 percent is more than double the hardest set difficulty so losing is fun is 220%. And then 500% is a custom difficulty from there. How do the AI of bugs work? Do they randomly break walls around the hive? If you're talking about normal infestations, yeah, they just randomly dig around where they're where, where they're nearby. Uh waste pack infestations will go out and just destroy anything. They'll kill other animals, they'll break random walls and buildings and like tanks and crap on the map. Those break anything. Any explosive tunnel designs worth using? Uh, the closest thing that is really strong, I guess, would be using the Diabolus. There's a Diabolus square kill box that just deletes everything other than Breacher Sapper. But I wouldn't, I don't know if I would consider explosive. I still need to do an explosives only run. All right, so now we need to remove their tongue. Oh, we are out of herbal medicine now. We have no one that can grow herbal medicine and it all it all burned what we did have. Oh man, I can't believe that set us back so far. It's crazy. So we won't be able to do that. Hopefully we can keep them unhappy enough. We we can't let them mine because they have a burning passion for mining. So basically this person right now is just going to be hauling and cleaning until we can remove their tongue. This game looks so complicated. What's all the stuff on the screen? Uh, if you wanted to, to go over something on the screen, let me know, but that's a lot of stuff to go over. Yeah. The game is very simple to pick up and play and have fun and have stories with, but then there's infinite stuff to learn and complexity after that, which is one thing I really like in games. Fodzio. But yes, there is uh, there is a lot to learn, especially when you add all the DLCs and stuff. I have someone on cooking, yeah, but they are currently death resting, so it's going to have to wait a minute. Like a DLC where you play as either the bugs or an adaptive species. Custom bug species appear. Really lo would love them to expand on bugs for sure. You made it. You like the live streams? Thank you. Some decent bit rate over here. Yep. Like Granny, your spirit animal, used to say, don't fear the reaper. Evan has more cowbell. <laughs> That's all you need is more cowbell. Yeah, it, there's, you know, an infinite amount of things to learn. But the game does have, it's a little outdated. It does have a built-in tutorial. That's a little outdated of one, but it does have one. Um, and you can play on easier difficulties where there's, you can even play on just peaceful bu like builder modes where you don't have any enemies, any disease. You can turn everything off and just literally play it as a builder if you want. You can even turn on dev mode and not even need material. You can just paint the stuff you want onto the map. 
Then you can play like this or anywhere in between. So if we're going to caravan, I feel like I should take those bugs out. As much as it sucks. And this guy is too happy. Um, This corpse is rotted. She's in death rest. Alright, we're going to give him some tainted stuff. Emerald crate art. Yep, yep. It's like Fallout where you build a base and workers do research in various... Uh, kinda. I mean, it's like... It's a colony management game, for sure. It has RTS elements as well. Definitely lots of combat if you want it. Alright, that should help. They're coming here, get unhappy. Training painting dev mode is the legitimate way to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, that's the great thing about a sandboxy game. Like, there's there's no wrong way to play it. There's tons of ways to play it. As long as you're having fun. I think I am going to deal with the bugs because we do need to go trade. And we also need to do our rituals. And if we get a ritual and someone comes through the bugs. Yeah. Actually, we can control where they come through, right? So once the foxes are done being manhunters up there, I think we'll do our events. Hopefully we get some joins. Lung rot. I know that's a long way to go, but it doesn't matter because we're trying to make these people unhappy anyway. Front loaded once you get past knowledge checks. Pretty smooth from there. Yeah, and I mean, if you have... Like, if you come over for other games, if you played other colony management of any kind, you know... Some of that's going to carry over. Keep your people fed. Keep your people happy. Give them clothes. I hooked up with the other girl. God, she really did end up being raised to be a bride. <laughs> All right. She joined the colony at eight, right? No, younger than that, because we. She's the one that was in the vat from 13 to 18. One of the ones, I think. We need to tell Modway. Other girl. Oh, she's supposed to have a name now, too. She's grown up. All right. I <laughs> just name her other woman this time. Uh, I don't know. That could make some problems. <laughs> uh, well, the wife. Oh, wait a minute. She's not a vampire yet. Well, I guess it's time. Your other woman, come to our bedroom behind the drapes. And I will bite you. <laughs> Tough cannibal. Nice. All right, here we go. I'm going to implant other woman with my jeans. There you go. All right, apparently I'm taking you to the hospital, right? That makes sense. And you're going to need your own casket. Hey, don't be clipping. Clipping. Doesn't count if they're undead. <laughs> All the slaves keep dying. We'll just raise our own colony. Other woman. Oh boy. My mom's gonna be jealous. 
give her her own casket first. <laughs> Gore Bash, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, Gore. Long time, man. All right, I think I'm going to go deal with these bugs just because I don't want... Just because I don't want uh, to end up being a, a bigger problem when we're trying to get people... I don't know. Like I said, though, we can... We can determine where people enter the base if we get auto joins. We might want to wait until she wakes up, though, to do these so that we have higher quality with an extra person there. And then our next implantation... 14 days. 14 days. Okay. Double casket mod. Oh, yeah. What does it say about spider? Hang on. Hey, there we go. Spider, ex-lover, finally. Finally. Double wife mod. <laughs> you kind of have that. Free and approved. Oh, spouses, we have only one. Gotcha. Did I? Yeah, I keep forgetting to set her as uh, auto wake, and I just forget about it. Him too. And I said I would remember this time, but I was talking and I forgot. So I try to talk to our generator setup you mentioned until you realize it needs three Archon kills. Well, before you get those, you can just deal with it however other way you would, right? Before you get the atomizers. So yeah, we'll wait until she is up. We'll do our joint events. Hopefully get some joint events. And then we'll deal with the bugs. Jonathan's clothes have deteriorated into nothing. Now Genie Boy is running around naked, as all the children that have lived in the cave have experienced over the years. For, for some reason. For some reason. Found us with three active lovers after the Genie buff wore off. And all three quite pleased with them. <laughs> Free and approved love is a powerful thing. You can also make it so they have, are allowed to have however many spouses you want, or no limit of spouses. How's the vampire daycare going today? It's, we're kind of behind. I would have made a lot of progress, but we lost everyone. We lost all of our slaves. We almost lost the entire run. It was very close. Again, another just almost tragedy. Let's see, Cave Baby will be getting their first growth moment pretty soon. So will Genie Boy. And Genie Boy came with us, came to us not very high growth tier, so we'll be lucky to get something good on them. Just a small z event, yeah. I'm, I'm using way more batteries than I probably should be as well. 350 toxic packs. I don't need any of this stuff, though. Only as fast as that it can turn a barracks into an actual bedroom. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Uh, Jimbo, are we ready for the convert? Yep. 69%. Nice. All right. Uh, let's do our events. If we actually get join events this time. Actual joins, I should say. Ah, yes. This is what it's like, genie boy. We dance naked under the mountain. Well, the children do. A bunch of ram. Your rimworld is taken with those pawns. And around with 30 colonists where ram took 10 gigs. I have no idea. Yeah. A wanderer. I'm not sure. I have a pretty monstrous computer, though. Okay, well, we got one. Okay, let you guys eat, and then let's do this one. Yeah, here. Thralls. What was asked? The nice number this week? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Oh, two joint events or two wonders. Oh my god. Those we've had in forever. All right, Sakura. Kibble interest wimp. A new planter. 
Okay. New planter, you come here. Kiku. Kiku, you come up here. Ascetic, volatile, misogynist. Capable of dumb labor. That'll change once they... Oh, man, I want to take them also. Oh, I can take... I can just turn them to not have medical at all. And they'll be pretty unhappy with that. Be in pain all the time. Ascetic's gonna be unfortunate. We can make the ascetic live in the fancy room. <laughs> Develop a, a very specific torture type for the ascetic. Alright, Sakura. Verts. Kiku. Lavish meals. Feed them. Force feed them lavish meals. Alright. Oh, wait, they don't need converted. They need enslaved, my bad. There we go. There we go. We're getting there again. Yeah, yeah. The ones that from the event are always... Yep. But I need to find some crafting trainers. Yeah, let's clear out the bugs and we... Wait, do we have... Uh... Hmm. We have a gladiator battle ready. Hmm. Let's have the ones that I named, actually named convert battle, but let's not give them a thrumbo horn. Ah, he probably won't die anyway. He's a wimp, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Be fine. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, you can wager your points on this again. Whoops. Convert and convert who aren't getting converted, but you know. All right, well, it's surely the wimp doesn't win, and surely no one dies, right? All right, who wins? I don't have a channel point thing on YouTube, so if you're on YouTube, you can... Wait, how are we going to know? I have to rename them. <laughs> um... Okay. We got Wimp. And... Ascetic. All right, you can wager your real fake channel points on Twitch, on YouTube. You can just let me know who you think's gonna win, Wimp or Ascetic. All right, the wager is up. Run to a gladiator event gone wrong. Use two imps. First thing they did was breathe fire. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. I vote convert. I vote convert too. Yeah. Uh. All right, let's uh, let's see here. Pretty likely. Wimp versus Ascetic. Man, Wimp could end up grabbing the weapon. Wimp could grab the weapon and actually beat Ascetic before Ascetic can do enough damage. All right, let's, let's get it on. 11,000 silver on the line. You told him he would figure out that later in life. Or they could ask you again if they really want to know. He voted to, or he elected to know later on. Okay. <laughs> You're ruined if you get this wrong. Surely Ascetic has it. Right? Ascetic doesn't care about winning. Wimp is near the weapon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Told you to stop calling me Shirley. 
So Wimp... Wimp has a chance. You bet your house on this? <laughs> Chat about eating habits. Shut up, Wimp. All right, here we go. Raved about strength over others. Acclaimed honorable death. All right, here we go. What if there is a Z event now? We gotta get these batteries out of this room. We got Wimp got the weapon. All right, let's see who gets the first hit in. Static versus Wimp. Oh, Wimp back in the corner. That's a good, that's a melee block tactic. Oh, you should come out. He got a hit in. Wimp won. <laughs> I would have voted for Ascetic. I really would have. You're ruined. Oh my lord. What? 88% of people wagered that Ascetic would win. Wow. 491,000 channel points. <laughs> All right. There you go. Wimp wins. Wimp wins. Eight to one odds. Ooh. Oh my god, aesthetic might die. <laughs> Let's get over there. Hey, we got a wanderer from it. Alright, coagulate them. Good battle worth. Okay. Wow. Always bet on the long shot, yeah. That's another child. Why? <sighs> I think I'm putting drug free boy in a ca in not a casket. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. I think I'm going to put him in a vat. Um, sorry, old habits, you know, old habits. Yeah, let's get him in here. I got too many children. I don't know. He's eight. All right, we'll see what you get. Okay. All right. With well, a name like drug free boy, you can stick around for a little bit. Uh, cough the head, long odds will pay off big time. Child her that once she grows up, she can kick people. <laughs> yeah. I want a duel too. Lead today into mood traits? Yeah, but I was going to enslave him instead. Why I put the weapon in? I could put it in the middle to see who grabs it next time. That's true. That way it's in between both of them. Uh, they should all be sleeping in here, yeah. No slave after he comes to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I might. We'll see. Could it be a seed setting? No, it's just part of biotech, man. Children are so common in biotech. Oh god, he ate at a table. Okay. So we finally have someone that can get the plants, excuse me, the medicine going again so we can take their tongue. Great. Actually, two people. Drug free boy, you can you can cook, it's fine. Don't cook drugs. Okay. 
Wimp's gonna be a vampire now? No. <laughs> no. Hardest challenge I ever beat. So, the, the one that should have been the hardest was no walls, no doors, no rooms. So, I did a run 500% no pause where we just built me open. No walls, no doors, no rooms. Up on YouTube, both edited and full length. But the real answer, the one that was actually the most difficult for me to do, ended up being my first melee only run. I wasn't as good at the game. There weren't as many DLCs to make people stronger. It's just awful. That one's up on YouTube as well, actually. But yeah, the actual hardest I've ever done was the first melee only. The one that should have been the hardest was the no walls run, the impossible challenge. And another one that was pretty hard I did last year was Incapable of Violence. So everyone was Incapable of Violence. So we could only have Incapable of Violence spawns. Impossible Challenge. I still need to do the Impossible Challenge against Cassandra. And I've been thinking about it lately. We did it against Randy. And to be honest, Randy fell asleep after his first attack. So Randy attacked us like once or twice. And then he went to sleep for like 40 days. And that 40 days, we were able to get to assault rifles. And then after that, it was kind of GG. We had some we had some tough times, but, you know, it, was, it wasn't too bad after we got to assault rifles. But Cassandra will not fall asleep. She will attack us every 10.6 days with up to two raids, and things can go badly quickly. So, we'll have to do it again sometime. Melee only was pure gold. Think the only deal to see at the time was royalty. Yes, yep. Melee run, we... Yeah, we did a melee run with all the genes and stuff, and that was one of the most fun runs I've ever done. The Melee Gods run, also full length and edited, are up on YouTube. That's probably the most fun run I've ever done, but definitely was... The beginning was a little difficult, but in general... Uh, yeah, not, not very difficult. <laughs> the melee Gods were, as their name suggests, gods for sure. All right, take myself back off growing. Get some research done again. Jimbo needs death rest. He is on auto wake. Uh, these guys are too happy. Go outside, get unhappy. All oh, right, aesthetic likes being outside. It likes being in crappy environments. I gotta take their tongues. We just gotta get medicine. I'm gonna have to go buy medicine from the pigs in order to take these guys' tongues. Good duel! Oh. Uh. Wearing button down shirt. Hey! Get that off. Take that off. You go wear tainted tribal wear instead. Button down shirt, take it off. Painted tribal wear. Only the 40k mods. What, what was the name of the girl that got both her legs bitten off? Hysteric. Eyes and ear. Oh god, hysteric, yeah. Hysteric is definitely a character I'll never forget from Rimworld Runs. Okay. These guys are too happy. I have no way to take their tongues yet. Should check that ship. Was that the one where you lost like 10 pawns to a triple rocket? I don't know. That's happened several times. Oh, are you talking about the run I lost? I lost a run to a triple rocket. I think that was a Tundra run. It wasn't a themed run, really. Anonymous, thank you for the gift sub to Red. Thank you, Anonymous. Devil Bob, they've been 21 months. Thank you, Devil Bob. Anonymous, I don't know who you are, but I appreciate it. <sighs> what a day, what a day. Yeah, I need to go trade, so. I think once Jimbo is up from death rest, we will deal with the bugs if a raid hasn't come in yet. And then we'll go we'll go trade I 
Yeah, don't clean that. Fun run. What you did was Winston Waves. Winston Waves is a lot of fun too, yeah. I think Winston Waves would have felt even more fun had it not been the crazy lag, but I mean, there's just so much. There's no way the game can't lag. Or won't. There's, there's nothing that can prevent the game. I could be on a, like, NASA PC. Yeah, Winston Waves is fun. Melee Gods uh, were it's such a fun run, and people like watching it so much. I've been asked dozens of times to bring the Melee Gods Melee Gods back and have them do other challenges. <laughs> so, like, having crossover episodes of my own runs. Like, Melee Gods versus Zombies is one that people often ask about. Stuck in Door is good, good, good. Good duel. When does that run up? See, the slaves are getting too happy with the kids being happy. But, yeah, what's the waves would have been good with compressed raids, yeah. Can I grow medicine? Yeah, it's growing. Yeah. It's going to take a little bit of time, though. Well, medicine doesn't grow too fast. Oh, go out here. Yeah, that area is terrible. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Yeah, so li for anyone that doesn't know, liking the stream on YouTube, even if you're watching on Twitch, if you go over and like the stream on YouTube, it helps the algorithm even after the stream. So super handy if you're there. Uh, the actual thumbs up button, not not the react button. There's there's two different. I don't know if the reactions actually help. Incable of violence, melee gods. I'm not sure that would be a good one. I'm not sure how that would work. See how deep in genetics is possible to extract archigenes from vampires and plant them to non-vampire pawns without turning them to vampires. Uh, unless it's changed since last time I did it, you can't extract archite genes. So archite genes, you're going to need an archite capsule, and then you're going to need to find the gene. But I don't know, that's, that was on release. I haven't tried. Is it still that way? I put my slave there because I needed him to be under 5% happiness. So he was too happy. So if they, you see that tick right there? See? God. Yeah. Archite is still trade quest. Okay. So that has not changed. So yeah, you, you can cannot do that. Yeah. You can you can give archite genes. You can give the the vampire genes if you find them without having to have them be a single phase. So you can have those as another custom xenotype that you make, either before the game or in the game with the gene packs. But you're gonna need archite capsules in order to apply them. And you can't just extract them from the vampires. Blind Luciferium addicted melee guns <laughs> without mods, yeah. AJ Spudman, you sick of that yet? Uh, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, Spudman. Wow, like a real classroom. Why more foxes? Sander, I need, I need people. People. Foxes aren't people. Other woman is now pregnant. Oh, God. I need to start making it so people can't have any more children. Jimbo, when you're up, snip. And me as well when you're up. What did the foe say? <laughs> Our castles just give a random archite gene. No, it's like a reagent. So archite castles are like a reagent that you need to apply the to make the gene pack give someone so you have to find the archite gene itself and then when you add that to gene pack you're going to need the archite capsule to contain it like as a region and wimp is getting why are you i need to take your tongue do we have any medicine at all yet still don't um uh, Chemical interest, so taking drugs will make you happy. You don't want to do that. Awful barracks, nice sharing bed. See, he has a burning passion for his work. And I don't want him to get catharsis, so. Hey, children. Children. 
Gather around and beat this man up. <laughs> Good job, children. Good job. Cave, cave baby, take him to his bed. Hold the xenogerms that go into the pack. It's a resource limiter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like a capsule for the for the gene itself. Other woman is pregnant. Uh, Muffin's gonna have another baby soon. Oh my god. Kids are learning well though. They are. Child gangs are getting out of hand. All right, let me just with the stream again. I'm just or not the stream. I guess with the recording, so it's easier on the the editor. All right, new recording has begun. We're back. So yeah, the, the last series I was just leaving the whole stream, so it was like seven or eight hours of 4K footage, and the files were enormous, and just to pro just to get his premiere to like of girls in labor. Just to get Premiere to even scrub through the file was was difficult. All right, Muffin Girl. Well, this is number three for you, so should be pretty easy, right? They are going to sleep anyway. It's actually less mood to have them sleep together in a double bed on the floor than it is to let them just sleep anywhere. They're already they're already getting slept on the floor no matter where they fall asleep. If you don't let them sleep, they still sleep. They just fall over where they are and sleep until we get a, a gene or half cycler in them. So this is actually less mood because they're getting uh, awful barracks debuff. They're getting slept with someone when they're not in a relationship with them debuff. This is actually more of a debuff than letting them sleep wherever they fall over. Fire baby, what are you doing in here? A healthy child, nice. I don't know what to name you. Muffin girl, you've had too many children. Why did I name this one? Quality level 89% on that birth. Gravy? Oh, well, okay. Gravy baby, obviously. Common child. Cupcake. Gravy baby. It's laying on the concrete. It was thrown on the concrete floor and it started laughing. Alright, put that in here. Okay, we need medicine, Jimbo. We've got some body parts to remove. Babies are the best way to make god pawns. Yeah, you can make god pawns out of them. Yep, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know what that is, so no. I did not see it. Very good evening, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Last baby. That's probably not. Well, we have at least one more coming. Doctor tells your baby 89% quality. Growth moment for Cave Baby. All right, Cave Baby. So Cave Baby was the first natural born child in the colony. Right? Am I remembering right? I feel like I'm remembering right. They actually rolled tough already. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Cave baby has become cave boy. Johnny really has tough in them. Yeah. Legend like his old dad. Gravy baby is going to be the next god pawn. Children! 
We can't let them finish this because they'll get catharsis and beat them up. Way to go. Way to go, children. Tough is really that good. The way that I play, tough is the best in the entire game. Tough makes it so you basically can't get one shot out of anything other than a rocket. So tough is incredibly good. It makes all damage incoming half. Half damage, no downsides. Have any prediction on winner what the next DLC? I do not know. I don't know anything, so it's all just speculation. I did tell people that uh, RimWorld Archaeology will be announced in March, but I was just joking. <laughs> I know nothing. Nothing about it. How long till we get this medicine? Volcanic winter. Lots well, of first volcanic winter. Mystic rage. Oh my god. Children. Jimbo converts swan. Oh, they're unconscious. Okay. <laughs> Speculating. Yeah, I, I totally even some specifics. Like I started, I was like, I hope someone clips this and if it ends up being this, people are, people are never going to believe me again, but you can't trick me. Oh, uh, they're just getting way too happy. And to make guides to the DLCs, want to buy them, but seem to add so much. I have a list of like, seriously, like 50 or 60 guides to make. And I just, I don't have time. I, I tried making some guides on stream before. And it wasn't very productive either. So, yeah, I have, it's on the endless to-do list, but I, moment, I've only been putting out a guide every few weeks or months, or a few months, really. Genie boy. All right, genie boy. This is the kid that we kidnapped. Fast learner. Fast learner crafter. Pretty good. Pretty good, genie boy. Pretty good. All right, so who's next? Drug free boy and fire baby are gonna get stuff soon too. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, he learns everything fast. Wavy Gravy is an American entertainer and peace activist. Known for his role in Woodstock. Persona. Wavy Gravy. Yeah, I actually have a guide and tier list out for RimWorld talents or uh, traits. A muffin. Your weapon. It's on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's timestamps. So you can go to all of them. And I put tough for my playstyle in its own category. Like it's tough. It's, it's the very top. So RimWorld trait guide if you search for that. Uh, No, it gives suppression. Suppression, so it's still probably worth it in the long run, but we're still rebuilding from the the bad times earlier. Medicine will be in tomorrow. Wake up, Swan. We use slaves. Yeah, they're typically not. Not worth it in a normal run. They're kind of not worth it in this run, <laughs> as it turns out, but. Once we have all the critical roles fulfilled by Sanguifage and their children, I think we will not really use the mini slaves. <sighs> the downside is Sanguifage are so unhappy using ranged weapons. We'll have to fight a lot of things in Cassandra. <laughs> Why is it animal day? I need people. Christ's sake. That's part of biotech for you, kids, mechanoids, or genes. 
from a min max standpoint i guess jeans is the answer right but uh being able to raise kids as god puns is also pretty incredible it's all really good yeah biotech is is a really good dlc with a lot of great things and really strong things a lot of min max things i mean the helper bots are great too combat bots are kind of crap uh, at least on this difficulty but having like clean sweeps and lifters running around is is super nice and animal attack animal attack animal attack yeah and it adds lots of rp options for people on the story end of things yeah all right all right jimbo you've got three children that's where we're stopping with you okay i'm sorry i'm sorry it's reversible okay it's reversible don't worry about it lifters are around no mechanics or call them children <laughs> Children, beating them up. Our vasectomy is reversible. Yeah. You should go get one right now and reverse it later. So he needs a gun back. Yeah, he does. I keep getting beaten up, so they just drop them. Operation. You know, that would be crazy if the single phase actually just regrow. <laughs> I, I'm i pretty sure they don't, that's something they don't regrow, but... Is this vanilla? I mean, it's RimWorld with DLC, so if you consider vanilla no DLC, then no. Alright, vasectomy performed. Uh, it's in the description, yeah. You check the description on YouTube, you can see what all we're using, but it's it's very little. Very little. I usually don't even use the color-coded mood bars. I did it in this so we could see when slaves are unhappy, so we can keep them unhappier. Tainted, 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 all right. Hey. Oh no. Wimp. He got medicine used on him. Crap. So hopefully, hopefully we have some left for the tongue surgeries. You operate while death resting? Uh, I bet you can't. Well, yeah, I guess so. You can have babies while death resting apparently, so... What temperature do insects not spawn? Negative 17 Celsius and lower. I think it's worth using bioregion to regrow fingers. At that stage, I would probably just say with fingers, replace it with bionics, you know, if, if you're that to that stage. But for someone that's uh, like body pierced or something, sure. I'd rather just get bionics. Someone that has something that you can't replace with bionics, absolutely. Um, yeah. Scars that you can't can't heal otherwise. Um, injured brains is a big one. Stuff like that. But if you can get bionics, you might as well just use bionics. But if you have someone that uh, does a bunch of fingers and toes and you have a bioregen cycle already set up and it's attuned to them and you don't have any way to get bionics for them, then it's, yeah, it's fine to throw them in there. In Celsius, that's Celsius. Negative 17 Celsius insects can't spawn if it's colder than negative 17 Celsius. Yeah, bioregen cycle is actually pretty awesome. Bioregen cycles also, the speed of it is increased with cleanliness, so you can put it in a sterile room and attune it to the person, and it's pretty fast. Sunblocker, volcanic winter. <laughs> 
Uh, I think the last, like, last four out of five events were animal events. Okay, wimp, you need a weapon again. Okay. Wow, K-Boy, you have your own room. Look at you. Take over other woman's room. Mm. Or it's not ready yet. We got four shooters. I'd like at least six. Got that guy as a blood bag. Any raid opportunities have popped up? We still have this one with a gold. That's not really super wrong. Five people will be an easy one. Another wood one. We need more of the component ones. Marriage. Vampire Adam is getting married. We'll be getting married. Uh. Yeah, I need to go out and trade. So I think I'm going to deal with these bugs. Cassandra's on cooldown, I believe. Yeah, Cassandra's on cooldown for a little while. We can melee block and be, be good. Um, We'll take everyone other than the children just in case. Probably don't need everyone. We actually want to destroy this door as well. pregnant. Maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, see that other door is making them some of them not making some of them lose collision. We should be strong enough to deal with it. Not a huge infestation. That's weird. One of them didn't pop. Was that somehow more than five tiles away from all the others? Never seen that. Okay, so now we can put those. They're already back in thrall. Okay. You guys can go into work zone now. Should be good. And then we'll remake that. It depends. That's right. It's always the answer. All right, so I think we have a little bit of medicine around. You know what? Let's put this here. I can keep an easier eye on it, and it's just closer by. Wimp, I'm so tired of you being happy. Uh, that's so weird to say. Remove tongue. There we go. And we really got to get those mind screws going again. Don't have anyone that can make them. We need Genie Boy to grow up. What a quote. So tired of you being happy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Brutal. Hey, go rip out their tongue. Low in food, yeah, a little bit. All right, so now they're going to be pretty unhappy. They're going to have minus 30 for quite some time, eight days, and then they're going to have minus eight for good. Now Wimp needs a real name. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Costume. I haven't seen Costume in a while. The artist formerly known as Squid. 
And then ascetic. Jesper old. Okay. So we need to take your tongue to. Move tongue. There we go. Mark you guys off the list. There we go. Today was naked children dancing in the living room. Bane man. 20 months. Will it ever be a full calendar year? It's getting pretty close, Bean man. We're almost there, you and I. Oh, thank you, Bean man. Very much appreciated. No, no, no. Operate. Don't tend. No tending. Just rip the tongue. Tongue removed. Okay. All goods trader. Oh. I don't have a lot to trade with them anymore, but. Okay. What do we have? We have some dromedary we can get rid of. A little bit of human leather. We actually have a lot of wood from those camps, surprisingly. And they seem to be popping up pretty often. Alright, so we can finally get some more components. Okay. Where are you guys dropping it? Right there, good. Why are you moving tongue to make them unhappier? I need to make them as unhappy as possible. The, the slaves need to be as unhappy as possible. The, yeah, the slaves have to be under 5% for this playthrough. They have to be under 5% mood. And removing a tongue gives them a permanent minus 8. Temporary minus 30. All right, minus 8. Okay. Switch that back over to colonist. And then I'm only having one child, just like in real life. Oh, round of medicine. Crap. Well, I mean, she's still pregnant at the moment, so. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, I have it set. And there's some random steel and crap around. And I'm sure there's a lot more components in here, too. I need to get this research just knocked out so we can be done with it. Uh, part of the ideology, yeah, yeah. So we have a mod called More Slavery Stuff, which makes it so there's a lot of different precepts you can add for slavery that aren't in the base game. One of them is Terror Slavery. If slaves are under 5% mood, which is actually harder than you would think, keep them there, uh, they will not break out or have a breakdown either. You can all, There's also the flip side of this. You can have Glamour Slavery or something like that, which... In hindsight, it would have been a lot easier to deal with, but it wasn't as thematic. I forget what it's called. I think it's like glamour slave or something, but prestige. I don't know. It doesn't matter what the name of it is, but it basically, if they're happy enough, they'll never try to escape or break out. So in hindsight, that would have probably been way easier. <laughs> but again, it kind of goes against the, the evil nature of the run anyway, so it's, it's fine. Training will go from club raids, SMG, to sniper mortar raids in a span of a week. Happy slavery is easier than sad slavery in RimWorld. Yeah, in RimWorld, don't forget to add that every time. Gone green ghost, welcome in. Alright, uh, so we don't really have a lot to go trade then. I guess I don't really need to go off to the pigs right now. And we did switch that all over to rice as we're getting our food stocks reef. Build. It's going to take a little while. A loyal cougar. 2x mech clustered and 2 star. That would be enormous. Yeah, the rewards aren't worth that. In room worlds. In room world. Never forget.
A loyal cougar. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, where's, what's our jeans looking like here? What are our jeans looking like? Muffin Girl can spread her jeans in three and a half days. We do have a target. Do you have a target? So sensitive man. Dad, you're not a woman. Sensitive man. Man. Then I can have you hook up with a Wookiee. <laughs> I will pond recruit a found that if you give them good tainted clothes, you can have them sleep in the cold for additional mood debuffs. Speaking of. Birds. Four. Ten days. Ten days. Right. We need a furry woman. That's right. That's right. All right. So expand work area to cover this and this, I guess. And this. And then thrall area as well. That's already pretty good, though. Muscle parasites. Also, parasites, parasites take 300% tending. So that's going to be with us for quite some time. <sighs> Too bad those didn't hit the slaves. That would have been awesome. I could just not tend it at all. This quest also gives us good upon six in this case. Yeah, it does, but. I don't want to take the risk right now because the cluster itself could be a really bad one for us and could have a bad problem causer on it. We're trying to get stuff done. Things they are working away at. Which thing? These? Research benches or? Which thing? Hydroponics? We got to get someone back with crafting. Look at that. Genie Boy's already got a nine in tailoring. Yeah. You know what, Genie Boy? You make the clothing. Get out of there, sensitive man. The dark room. Oh, uh, this is... These are talk to fire generators. They are cleaning up pollution on the floor. A list of mech clusters that are bad for melee colonies. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, these are a biotech thing. Talk to fire generator. They produce... Power, but they also produce pollution, so. Speaking of, pollution is starting to reach the camels. So we need to do a pollution removal area. They are. Okay, so we're getting food built back up finally. We're waiting on another berth. This kid's going to be popping out of there soon. We got some growth moments coming. Genie Boy is going to start making some clothing. Uh, actually, I have no individual textile. Uh, enough of an individual to make anything. They will make it. Genie boy, I need you to grow up again. I need you to get to 10 years old. I'm tempted to put you in the vat. We also need to... God, we need, we need a lot of stuff. Oh, I gotta fix this up here. There's so much to do. Cougar hunting other woman. Uh... Oh, you found a rat instead. It's fine. Honestly, he's a rescue. Wait, what happened to you? Muscle parasites and food poisoning. Wait, what'd you eat? You should only be eating nutrient paste right now. Uh, he probably ate raw food during the power outage. 
That must have been it. So we're going to clear everything other than haste for now. Okay, it's fine. Think slow in the worst moment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was talking about that earlier. Actually, these went off right now. All right, we got the kids barracks down here. And this will end up being your place. Jeans in 1.3 days. Oops. You know who I miss still? Dirt Child. Can't believe Cassandra sent someone to kill Dirt Child. Sounds like she hired a hitman just for Dirt Child. I mean, it felt like that, you know? Dirt Child. Dirt Child would be Dirt Man right now. He would have his whole mountain mined out. But, uh, Cassandra wanted him dead for some reason, you know? I'm getting cold in my room. I'm not sure why. Sander hates children. That's why she keeps sending them to me. <laughs> She's punishing them. Hey, if they reach adulthood, they're in good hands, all right? Now, what happens between the time she sends them here and adulthood is not my fault for some reason. I get a haircut like three weeks ago. Something like that. Two or three weeks ago? Maybe two weeks, I don't know. Yes, at some point. Go on Grave Watch. Gravy Baby! Alright, Gravy Baby. Oh, they become a child. I was excited for a moment. I thought Gravy Baby had hit a... a growth moment, but... No. All right, the kids' barracks continues to grow. We'll give them a uh, dresser in there too. I don't know. That was the, that was the kid's name when he came out. He was born with the name Gravy, so we just made him Gravy, Gravy Baby. Baby. That was like a Twitch handle. Uh, yeah, I do need to open that now. Yeah. Mad Boomalopes. Mass Animal Insanity. Oh, that's a really bad one for us, too. Who's nearby? Drug-free boy, get down here. Oh my god, sensitive man, get inside! inside oh <sighs> uh, yeah the animal cue that's the thing maybe I forgot about that somehow <laughs> have legs have legs yeah Believe it or not. Hmm. More animal events. Crazy. One of the playthroughs that I want raids in. I need raids. With thralls. And we just get a lot of animal attacks. It wasn't like that the other day. I mean, it's random, but... It is, uh, it is frustrating. 
Hey, they're converted. So who are you again? Right, right. We're gonna enslave you. Hopefully we'll have enough medicine around to take some more tongues soon. Let's keep knocking out some of this research. Swan, let's have you equip tainted apparel and a gun. And then they don't have any passions or anything, so that's good. We can force them to work at things and they won't like it. So that's excellent for us. You're going to learn how to do planting. I'm so happy you have no passions. Welcome to the colony. Gray bush. Morbo, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, Morbo. Appreciate it. Morbo. Hmm. What do you think they do with those tongues? They probably just slurp them down just right. Oh, God. <laughs> the doctor just eats it right on the spot. I mean, they're gone. What's What's the other explanation? There's no trash. There's no trash cans. Everything goes on the floor. We'd see if it we would see if it was on the floor. So yeah, I think the doctors just slurp them down. <clears throat> yep. You know what? You can just keep no leg right now. Whoops, I ate them. Consulting spree. Children. Children. Uh oh. Some of the children are cold. Come beat Greybush up. Way to go, children. Way to go. Am I going to have to make kids' clothes? I guess I am. What a sad day when I have to clothe our children. Uh, Make kids' parka. I'm not going to be happy about it. Genie boy, do you have the stuff to make a parka? No, not yet. He will, though. The friggin' sun blocker and volcanic winter and toxic fallout and cold snaps and everything else. Might actually have to heat the base. Uh, the volcanic winter is over. Imperial trader, nice. Their first imperial trader. Got a lot to trade with them. God, I can't wait till GD Boy grows up. Yeah, just come right through the base, yeah. No problem. Actually pretty good, uh typically don't do that. We just sold most of the things that we could really get rid of. Man, we're getting gouged on Flake. Flake is worth 14, they're only giving us eight for it. That's right with our best trader. Ooh, nuclear stomach would be interesting. Uh, high libido and great plants. Great plants. All right, let's take that stuff while you're here. Yes, the vampire. They, yeah, yeah, no cancer yet. Yeah, I guess I could get rid of some more camels too. That's true. They are breeding pretty quickly. Female, 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 male. Uh, 
Uh, that's good for now. We... Oh, whoops. It's good for now, and then I think we will go... Eh, yeah, it's fine. I think we'll go get another weapon sometime. There we go. There we go. Artemis, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Artemis. Three months already. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. It's interesting that with RimWorld, you have to make that dis distinction, right? By the way, these are parkas for children, not made of children. I want everyone to know. Hey, Bush, how are you... Spacious interior. Happy youngsters. We gotta stop having youngsters. Do we got medicine in? All right. Let's go. Get rid of this. Here I am. Jimbo, I cut off yours. You cut off mine. <laughs> That's not what a vasectomy is. <clears throat> I cut off yours. You cut off mine. Let's go. All right. Excellent. In RimWorld. Why not both? Okay. I think I'm done accepting children. A bisectomy. Well, also we enslave them and make them unhappy. From now on, children at the door is either meat or slaves, okay? I say that now, but we'll probably end up having more. <laughs> probably accept more. Children, beat up Grey Bush. It's it's kind of... Hey, we need that. It's kind of interesting that the children have become this little gang of people that go and beat the slaves up when the slaves have breakdowns. God. We just have a gang of children that roam the base beating beating people up. Yeah, well. Five days. Five days on festivals. Okay. Genie boy, how long until you grow up? Oh my god. Why? Oh, God. Gravy baby, get in. Why animals, animals, animals? What's the last time we had a human raid? Oh, man. Let's see. Manhunter. Mass animal insanity. Manhunter. 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 Wastepack infestation. Enemy raid. Seven events ago. Oh, raid points are getting pretty high up there again. I think we're finally back to the raid points. Maybe... No, we're still not. <laughs> Look at that fall. Jeez. We have still not recovered. And a minor event. That's an animal event, too. Conflict for hire. Two groups of Izakin. That's not too bad. One star. Ooh. That's instant research done. 1.7 days from now. Yeah, I think I'll do that. The great storage room fire. What happened to the first the first negative spike? Um this one? I think that's when we actually just went and traded with the Empire. I think that's when we became a knight and I went and traded with the Empire and we got our weapons and stuff, I think. This is when the fire happened. I think I'm going to accept this quest. So instant research or more honor. Cool. 
instant research isn't that important in this one. We're almost done with everything that we need and we don't have tribal research. So I think just getting some honor and the possibility of getting some more uh, slaves. Yeah, we'll do that. Is there a fire foam popper in the storage now? Yes, yes, there is. There is. <sighs> yeah, we don't have anyone that can do smithing yet. Genie Boy needs to be 13 to smith. Come on. You can be a warden at 10 years old. Burn death by only weakness. Yeah, well, yeah, we, we have, we'll have a raid from that. Um, Can I get my death rest done before that gets here? Maybe. I, no, I can't. I might have to wake up early from it. Arrive in 1.7 days. It's been seven hours. All right. Apparel. Yeah, we're starting to grow cloth again. We'll get there. Non tinder skin vampires long theme of like the blade movies. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, they're not supposed to be. Was it, is that a positive? No, it's fine. Yeah, the capes are fine on them. It's whatever. The only thing they get a bonus for is uh, button-down shirts. We don't want them in button-down shirts. Man, 13, Genie Boy, 13. That's a long time. That is six more seasons where you can do our crafting for us. Royal Tribute Collector. Oh, that's not a good time for this. We're going to get blamed for this crap. Where's your name for the last 30 minutes? Uh, not a lot of story other than Cassandra just keeps sending animal events. We've had six animal events in a row. It's been seven events since we had a raid. We did just accept a quest, though. That will send raids to us. So we should be getting some raids here. Let's see. About half a day from now. Ah, uh, yes. The Great Beaver War. Take cover from the beavers. If they decide to pick up these weapons these other guys are dropping, you're going to be safe. Yeah, like if Theo here drops his chain shotgun, you want to be safe in case these beavers pick that up. And Theo is doing some tanking. Are you tough, Theo? You're not tough. tough. I'm not sure what's going on. You have, like, no health left. Wow, Theo's going to live. Well, I mean... <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll come freaking save you. I need to rep with you guys anyway. He was like, nope. Spoke too soon. Uh... 
All right, come on. Forty five wounds tended. <laughs> That's a bit. That's a bit. Wait, what is that? Is that him again? No, so it was I We saved that guy before. That was his bed. So it wasn't my dad. It was just someone that we had saved before. This is the second time this guy showed up and gotten in random fights on the map. I think the last time he was here might have been... Is that when we had the double siege? Yeah, I don't know, but anyway, low hemogen. Uh, yeah, definitely need some more blood bags. Was he a Neanderthal? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that will do it. That will do it. Yeah, so robust, not tough, it's like baby, baby tough. It's almost tough. All right, so we're going to have the raid happen real soon. You're going four days on that. What do we have pop up here? Potatoes. All right. Point two days. Uh, they can probably melee block it without me. Death resting at the moment. We'll probably be fine. I do you have the mono sword though? Kind of sucks to lose out on that damage. Unusually clever. So that's the quest. Right as the empire is leaving. Okay. All right. Uh, everyone, get down here. So Jimbo and Muffin, the married couple, you guys get their EQ if they get by. Shouldn't get by, but. All right, children, you stand back here. If anyone gets through here, just beat them down. Other woman, you tend to the children, okay? I hate this. It's because the pig doesn't have a path because they can't cross the barricade. So they just attack random stuff. Have I ever tried comic extended? No, I have not. prisoners. Oh god, they had doomsdays and triples. I didn't even check. And a siege. Okay. So that's the second raid. I actually don't have any shells right now. Let's see, movement 81, movement 100. Okay, empty page, let's go. Ooh, they have snipers. Okay. So the siege, yes, we're under the mountain, but the siege can take out our power and they can take out our mortars that we need to get restocked sometime. Jimbo, get up here in case you need to save them. Never run out of ammo. Uh, they will keep getting drop potted more ammo. Oh, I got those from that other siege out here too. Are there any animals nearby? That would be handy.
Nice. Every time you damage a siege, every single point of damage, or every time you, you do any damage, I guess I should say, they have a 10% chance to come attack your base. Stop sieging, come attack. Sometimes, oh god, empty page. Oh god, I didn't run far enough with you. Sometimes that's the first hit. Other times it feels like basically kill their entire raid. Coagulate. Pretty freaking good. Pretty good that coagulate. Okay. Kill a few, you bomb two, three deaths, kept sieging. Yeah, yeah, it's a 10% chance every time you deal damage to them. We've actually killed entire sieges and had them not. I can't them give up just from damage of us like sniping them and they just leave before even attacking the base, but 10% chance. I'm still going to the same audience if you did everything the same except use kind of extended with every playthrough. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, no idea. Probably not. At least not initially. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Power got knocked out from that. Hey, we got one. Wavering doesn't necessarily matter. Sorry, genie boy. Is the defense of the colony boring you? Right. Muffin go rescue my. Oh, right. It's like, wait, what, what happened? Oh, that was the reward for that. <clears throat> Ever considered a Neanderthal only run? Uh, not really. No. I don't think it would be too bad. I mean, we've done harder things, but. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess we kind of considered things like that when it first came out. We we're talking about maybe doing a full run of each of the factions and ended up not getting around to it. Always time, though, I guess. So we have enough medicine now that once these two are out of here. We can take the rest of those tongues. Those get on blood rest or blood rest, death rest. All right, it's time to turn someone. So Muffin can turn someone. The person that is... Most ready is a sensitive man. Uh, the next kid that will be ready. God is drug free boy. That's gonna be forever. So this is one of the kids that we raised in the colony. All right. So well, maybe we all love sensitive man. For a while, we just did a dirt bowl run. You were it was actually pretty fun. Change shotguns for the win. I like dirt rolls overall. Just wanted to say that you're disgusted by my concrete barracks base, but watching me also made you better at the game. Uh, thanks. I think. <laughs> Your efficiency disgusts me, but also it helped me win. Uh, you're welcome. No, thank you. Right, thank you for watching. 
Cataracts. Let's just execute this one. Nice for having a colony that is all the same custom xenotype. I'm guessing having kids is the only way to really make that happen. No, your custom xenotype can appear in the world. So you will occasionally get them. They are relatively rare. If you're not opposed to using mods, there is a mod to make it so that the chance of that happening is higher. There's even a mod that makes it so that ritual events are always your custom xenotype. I don't remember the name of the mods because it's been a long time since we really talked about them. Uh, that was like when Biotech first came out. But there, the other thing you can do is when you make your xenotype, you can do what I did with the Melee Gods run. And you can add the injection, the gene implant, and uh, make sure you uh, set it correctly on the inheritable versus not inheritable when you make it. And so then you'll also have that as an option to implant genes every two years. But yeah, raising children, making the gene pack in the game is, is kind of depending on how complex it is. You can also make the gene packs in the game, but the more complex, the more of the buildings you're going to need, the more genes you need to find. But you can make a really strong gene pack with just, you know, four or five genes in the game and just implant it. It just takes work time, just implant it on everyone that comes through. So if you're doing like a melee run, maybe you don't go completely melee god on it, but you could have robust, which isn't hard to get. There's several, um, there's several of the starter xenotypes that have robust. So you can get that one out pretty easily and, you know, strong melee and maybe a couple of downsides like drug dependency or something, but yeah, it is rare. When we did the melee gods where we had that custom xenotype, we ran into, it was a pretty long run and we ran into maybe just like four or five world pawns that had, had it. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a ton. Waylands, maybe the 17 months and for the gift sub to Philly. Thank you, Waylands. Much appreciated for both. And forever Artemis, thank you again. Wasp, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Wasp. You're a darkness ideology. Uh, so uh, for a couple reasons. One, these are uh, dark light. So with dark light, you actually get a mood buff. And originally, so I don't tip. This is not a min max run. If you're if you're wondering why most things are like they are in this run, it's for the theme and for the aesthetics, not for the 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 functionality. Yes, lights don't do anything when someone's sleeping in a normal run. You don't need lights in the bedroom at all. However. Originally, the bedrooms are also had their own research benches and stuff like that, and it was just dark for the viewer. So when I had all these off, you couldn't see friggin' anything uh, for me and the viewer and for the screenshots for the thumbnails and stuff like that. So we ended up adding dark lights. So the dark lights, darkness meme actually get a mood buff for being somewhere where there's dark dark lights. These are all dark lights. It's uh, just a precept. See, dark light preferred, plus four for the dark light. But yeah, it's mainly because of the nature of this run, both partially the ideology with a plus four, but also just the theme, the theme. Yeah, if you're if you're looking for min max stuff, that's most of my runs, but it is not this one. So the typical answer to why something is like it is in this. It's for the theme for the story. Also, make sure you do the gene injection from behind. Yeah, especially if you're a melee god. That's right. Seven hives. You can deal with that really easily. I'm up from death rest. Yeah, let's just do it. Do another five honor. Have I ever done a guide on doing mountain bases? No. Like I'm in max mountain base? No. Should do that too, I guess. All right. Let's make sure everyone's in the same spot. Wait, did it give me a timer on that one? Okay, that's not a great spot because I can't fully melee block. So we're going to have to do a two-person block, which is not as good. Which means I should probably rebuild that console. Like down here, where we're not going to need a melee block ever. And we need to destroy that door because it can cause problems, the melee block. Should still be fine, though. Yeah, Dark Light actually do... Darkness Meme or Precept actually do get a mood increase from... 
dark lights. I think about the fantastical nature of the game's taken, like Psycast and Vampires. Psycast is the more fantastical, and vampires in this are literally just genes, so gene altering. So I mean, they're they're both extremely good things, like strong things. But yeah, I don't I don't mind either way. I don't mind. Have nothing against it. But it yeah they they uh. They frame most of it in the RimWorld lore or whatever as not actually like magic or anything, right? But it's pretty much magic. <laughs> All right. Bugs are dead. Got some more stuff. Uh, PJ Spudman. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you again, Spudman. Very much appreciated. And Artemis, thank you for the three gift subs. Thank you, Artemis. It's your first ever gift subs, at least for here. Uh, thank you. Very much appreciated. Examples of streamers just putting an ad as their stream title. Playing any game they want. Saw an example of that. No, I haven't seen that. So what was the title of it? Psychic powers of using other sci-fi to replace magic. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's basically... Another interesting thing is in the lore in RimWorld, there's no actual aliens. There's no aliens. It's very specific. There are no other aliens. All the other, they're all an offshoot. And there's other worlds of people on it, but they're not actually aliens. There's no alien races. I wonder if they'll ever change that. All human to be psychically deaf. So we're going to get that moved over. I'll just destroy this. Any news on biotech? You'll see. No, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure uh, why why there's such a delay on biotech for console. Rimworld aliens. Rimworld extraterrestrial. I would be I would be pretty shocked by that compared to like Rimworld uh, archaeology. You know, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> Worst contact. Rimworld contact. Mind to let you have more colonists without storytellers trying to kill off colonists. You know, uh, they don't try to they don't try to kill your colonists. They make it so that enemies have higher death on down and you have less chance to get enemies. But just having a higher population intent isn't going to just kill your colonists more. It's just that they try they try to keep you at those colonist counts without the DLC. But yeah, I don't know of any mod i used to a long time ago use a mod that's now it's now in the base game that changed death on down chance so if you want enemies to die less even with like despite population hit or even your pawns to die less it's in the custom settings when you do your difficulty but outside of that yeah i'm not sure Yeah, it, so go when you set up your game, click custom, and then in the it, there's a button, and then you can press whichever difficulty you like to play on. Let's say you play on blood and dust or whatever. You click that, all the settings will default to what blood and dust is, but then if you go through there, there's things you can change, including death on down chance for both your pawns and for enemies. Perry, yeah, I think Perry Persistent has a 50 pawn, like the old Randy. He has a lot of minor events. Dark light a wall. Yes. It's... Well, we're almost back to our... We need more blood bags. Holy crap. Uh, We might have to buy, like, shock lances to just get... That's crazy. You get shock lances to down people to end up getting more hemogen farms because we lost all of ours. Population intent void with biotech and children. No, it just doesn't. It does it just doesn't impact pregnancy or or rituals. 
but it still impacts everything else that it used to. A most ex desired expansion or feature Outside of optimization, I would say a rehaul of the world map and factions. I finally arrived for the emotional damage. Really? I still haven't tried that one. So good. I'm drinking my very last scoops of pina colada today. I gotta order some more. I can't believe we gotta wait on Genie Boy right now. Unless we find another crafter. Like, we can make Grey Bush. Uh, he's not going to be high enough level to make what we need. You got the non caffeine? Uh, we have some of both. Most of ours are non caffeine. This one has caffeine, though. Hash Monkey, thank you for the five gift subs also. Thank you, Hash Monkey. 15. Very much appreciated. Yeah, so right now, what are we doing? We're kind of waiting around for some things to get done. And. Oh, you know what? We should work on the relic stuff. We have one of the, we have two of the quests actually. I wonder if they snapshot from when we originally accepted them. I don't know. I don't know how that works cuz we've had that for a really long time. Yeah, I know. I would love to find another genie. Right now, the only one we found is this little boy, and we did kidnap him, but he's not old enough to, to smith until he's 13. Um, No, I haven't noticed any difference in flavors. So I've had, I've had both caffeine and decaf of a couple different flavors. In fact, the first one I had of the anime girl thigh was caffeinated, and then Mod Wife liked it so much, but she can't have much caffeine that she wanted me to get Decaf, and we did, and I noticed no difference, yeah. There's a mod that changes population intent called Dynamic Population. That's interesting. Never, I've never heard of that one, or never looked at that one. All right, we're just going to keep knocking these things out. Um, Yeah, I'm going to accept this, and we'll see. All right. Why is the potato one of the channel emotes? It's a follower emote that I added for the hot potato or world event, and I just left it. Yeah. I'm liking the two new Rimworld emotes I had made, though. I might get some more Rimworld emotes made. You can use them if you're a sub here. You can use the, the subscriber emotes on any channel. What CPU do I have? You can go to X Mission Equipment, it has all my stuff there. Growth moment for Drug Free Boy. All right, Drug Free Boy came to us with not very much education. So this should be interesting to see. Drug Free Boy. Is he going to go the route of becoming a real colonist? Or is he going to be a slave? <laughs> for any emote as well. I don't know why I never made a, never had a Sleepy Randy emote made. We've talked about Sleepy Randy for like five years. Teetotaler is great for Slave because it can force him to have a uh, have drugs. Yeah. Exhaustion. You guys are just gonna have to hang on. We got raids coming. All right. Let's see what size these are. See if it snapshot it snapshot from when we got the quest or if it's our raid points now. Hopefully not now or else. Teetotaler body pure is depressive. <laughs> it's, he's the greatest slave in the world. Drug free boy. It does snapshot it. That's crazy. <laughs> nice. <gasps> what? 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 Get over here. Wow, we haven't gotten two. 
Don't use it like that in forever. Starvation. All right, go eat then. Man, ponds are such a pain with food. They literally go like 10 hours without something. I'm dying. Why so few slaves? See this? You see this cliff right here? See that? See that? That's why. Because our other like 10 slaves and blood bags all burned to death. Other than that, no real reason. A different play styles, regime builds, or different ideology always reverting. Playing right from the start, the most optimal min max design. As long as you're having fun with it, you know? I like doing themed runs every now and then, though. Alright, just just go. If it's really bad, I'll call you back. Is that this VOD? Yeah, it's today. Yeah, it was today. It was today. Empty page, you are a slave, yep. Yeah. Thrall. Master progression and research, you're fine. You're not doing that well on those parts. So just know that research is a accumulation of points of everyone researching. So I will see a lot of people that are newer to the game have like one research bench, but research is a combined effort. So what I would say is make everyone, everyone, especially the beginning, have at least research as a last priority. And then every time you see someone idle, throw down another research bench. That is my biggest piece of advice for someone as far as research goes getting started is research on a four on everyone, whether they're, it doesn't matter. They can have a zero in intel intelligence. We don't care. And then anytime anyone's idle, throw down another research bench because that could be time that they're putting in research points. So it is a cumulative thing. You don't have like one researcher researching one thing. It all adds to the same. Oh God, I got to come up here. Because my character needs to eat now. I get from lurking on. <laughs> Hey, come here. All right, let's go eat. I'll come back and finish it. I probably need to keep one of you guys up here just in case. Actually, you guys have already eaten, so come back. Should be fine, but I don't want to lose out on this hack. Uh, okay, so what do we end up getting here? Great memory, ugly, iron willed. Okay, let's go ahead and convert. Body monitor. We'll slow poke. Okay. They would definitely make a good thrall. Oh, level 10 crafting with no passion. That is super good for us. Yes. They can craft while we wait on Genie Boy. Thank God. That's one of our bottlenecks right now. All right. All right. We've had like five crafters die, but there's one that can craft without being happy about it. Excellent. Or so infection on that one, yeah. Uh, needs to sleep a little bit. All right, that's enough. Let's go do the hack. Just hang on, drug-free boy. Hang on, we're we're busy right now. All right, can we finish this? Just you know, day three vods. Saw you were live. Want to say hello? Hey, th uh, thank you for watching the vods. It's been a it's been a it's been a run. All right. I don't know why I said it's been a, like three times, but all right, drug-free boy. Let's see. So, none of these go with um, him being, like, the ultimate slave character, right? 
I don't want to take Mascus in case he ends up being a slave, so we'll take Fast Learner. Fast Learner is really good. Fast Learner also means that he can get good at things that he doesn't even have passions about, so that's still slave material, maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah, but the problem is he would use that annoying voice against the single phage as well. Keep that drone. It keeps getting bigger, but that is a... That would be interesting, especially if the drone was here. That does... That does remind me of something that we could do. All right. So I think we could go do the second part of the quest too then it's probably also snapshot from when we first got the quest which was a ancient complex hmm hmm all right how are these going here we really need this guy so let's go ahead and make the fabrication benches that we're going to end up using. At least one of them. God, I never split this stuff up, but it's... I keep telling myself it's just the nature of the run. It's okay for one run. Just, just for this... One night only. One run only. What is best between Fastler and Great Memory and why? So that is also in that guide. So if you go to my traits guide, I think Exclamation Traits actually will take you there. Or just on YouTube, search for uh, Rimworld Trait Guide. I go over all of them and we do compare Great Memory versus Fast Learner and what they're kind of kind of better at. But uh yeah, if you end up it has timestamps. So if you end up listening to that and like have more questions about it, just let me know. But it's kind of a it's a tier list that turned into a guide. So I ended up going over every trait and talking about them. And some of it is tier list, like it's personal opinion, like tough being number one or people that are playing on lower difficulties or more for the story kind of thing. Tough isn't going to matter as much. For me, tough is the best. Best uh, trait in the game. I hate one shots and tough basically makes so you don't get one shot outside of Something like Sniper to the Brain or Doomsday Rocket or something, right? So we're going to use this create. Yeah, there we go. Masterwork Hospital Bed. Use this creative inspiration for that. Surely we're not going to get animals again, right? right? Don't call me Shirley. I told you. How close is this guy to conversion? Pretty close. And a baby's about to be born. But really, the uh, answer always comes down to it depends. It depends. Grenades, yeah, grenades can destroy brains, that's for sure. Get brain scars, yeah. Components, do until you have X. God, it took us so long to get here. 50. From the floor. We'll just leave it as unlimited for right now. Unlimited range. We got to get this guy converted. Uh, We are doing really well on food again. So I think I am going to switch some of this back over to drugs. Got a bit of cloth again. All right. Psychoid. 
that flake going again. Long last. Now, so if if the slave is the only one in here working, we will turn this to normal light. Give them a debuff while they're in here, because they're already going to be in a spacious room. Last year, yeah. All right. Uh, we do have the medicine to take more tongues now. Yeah. And then that new slave is going to be able to make mine screws again at long last. Okay. So let's go ahead and take your tongue. No doctor. Yeah. There you go, genie boy. Look forward to working out how you died. Sorry until you watched the VOD. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. Yeah. Good news is it didn't take all your tickets in the queue. The bot thing is broken right now, so it's a real queue instead of a raffle. Deconstruct all the doors. It wouldn't have been... I did deconstruct doors as I went. I don't know if you saw, but I deconstructed this door and this door and another door. But I mean, there's a lot of things I could have done. It's easy to look back at it. But it's a lot harder when you're doing no pause and everyone's dying and you're scrambling. Like, there was a... There was literally a foam pack, like, in here that I could have just triggered and been done with it. But it's hard to assess all that when you're playing no pause and, and panicking a bit. But I did deconstruct a bunch of doors to let heat out. Uh, Liquid, welcome back. Thank you for the raid again. What's the significance of keeping slave mood low? Never done a run with slaves. So typically you don't want to do that. But in this run, we are using a mod. Usually don't use too many mods. But we, we used it on this one for the theme run called Terror Slavery. And for Terror Slavery. If a slave is under 5% move mood. Hey, it's my character's child. They're under 5% mood, they can never break out or break down. So in a normal playthrough, you don't want slaves breaking down, but in this, we want them really low. All right. What am I saying to her anyway? I'm dead silent. Kid Jimbo is literally ripping someone's tongue out beside of her. Hmm. Oh, never mind. That wasn't a tongue rip. Sorry, that was just asthma. <laughs> the tongue had already been... No, the tongue hasn't been ripped out. Yeah, that's what I thought was happening. Jimbo is ripping this guy's tongue out in the dark, dirty barracks for the slaves. And he did it. All right, back to the child labor here. <sighs> wow, all healthy babies this time. Nice. 89% quality again. <laughs> uh, a, a daughter. <sighs> I'm out of names. All right, versus baby. You came out with a versus name, so your versus baby. All right, shove it in the vat. Somewhere safe? No. All right, all right. Conversion. Ooh, I think that's them, right? Yeah, team crafting. Good, good, good. So enslave them. That's a blood bag. We still need more. Oh my god. You. So instead of enslaving them, they're going to be happy to do a lot of stuff too. We're going to make them a, a blood bag as well. Oops. <laughs> Lots of misclicking today. All of ours have died, tragically. 
Oh my god. They roasted to death with no legs. They were in tiny stone chambers overheating with no legs and no one came and got them. When are you going to do evil stuff in your run? I don't know. We'll get there maybe. Feral Trader. Yeah, I guess I don't. Pretty horrible way to go even in Rimworld standards. Yeah, standards. Yeah. All right. Uh, install peg leg, right leg. Install peg leg, left leg. Old snap again. I remember back when this map didn't have the sun blocked and we couldn't get cold snaps. Those were the days. Those were the days of our lives. <sighs> I think you take that over mind screw though, yeah. Yeah, their, their life wasn't great to begin with. I mean... They did just lay in in that cell and every couple days someone would come in and take their blood. They were a slow barbecue. It was pretty fast, to be honest. Fast. Come on, guy. 1.4. There was a cold snap before the last great fire. That's true. That is true. Kenny boy, you've been doing a great job. 11 in crafting. I don't know about having a wimp on board, but... As a vampire, but... You know, if... Uh, depending on what you get, you might be enslaved instead. I don't know. We'll see. Boom rat. I know. I was looking at that, too. <laughs> hmm... All oh, right, we still haven't made them into a vampire. We don't really have the blood to do it. I mean, we can we can turn them without the blood, obviously, but hmm. Hmm. All right, so they got their peg legs. Now we're gonna remove them. Left leg, remove right leg, and you become a uh, image and farm. Okay, so we're up to two. How many vampires do we have right now? Like five? We have five, so we want at least four farms at the moment. I don't want more than that, but... What's the next duel? Uh, It's time now. I'll probably wait till after the next Cassandra cycle before I do any events, though. Yes. A crafter. A lot of the mountain we can mine. I feel like it, I still need to fix this, but uh, that's permit choice. It's something from royalty. I just haven't decided which ones I want. So in royalty, as you go up through the rankings, you can choose some of these permits. You do things like call in some fighters to dropping bombs on people. I might should go ahead and get his Praetor ceremony ceremony done and get these so that we have a call in to absorb some rockets. Air drones are always good too. Yeah, the Salvo. Salvo and Cataphract. I almost always get those too. Call ins for like items seems to kind of crap. The shuttle's really good as well. I guess I could turn this on. Hmm. Hmm. 
not really a great area, but. Predictability makes the run too safe. I think Randy would be easier, but I might change it. We have uh, definitely almost died many times. <laughs> Let's run. Run has gotten really close to dying. Lots and lots of times. All right, Crafter. First things first, though. Ooh, uh, Scratch Car, painful on the neck. Nice, you'd love to see it. See it. Move that tongue. Perry is the exact same as Cassandra for major events. He has the exact same cycle. He just has more minor events. So if you want less predictability, Perry is, is not less predictable for major events. I do have a Perry playthrough up on YouTube, and it was pretty fun. But yeah, it's just you just get extra minor events with him. That's all. All right, tongue removed. Let's get you a name. You get a lot of extra ones. Perry is easier, in your opinion. It's literally Cassandra's storyteller code, like one for one, only with extra, uh, extra minor events and. Um, different population intent. But as far as like major events, major raids and stuff, it's the same cycle as Cassandra. Spitz Muller. What to do with the tongues? You don't actually get the tongues. Yeah, we're just removing them to make them unhappy. But they just disappear. <laughs> I guess we eat them. I have no idea. Is Randy actually easier? You always had more trouble with him over even Phoebe. Randy, in my opinion, on the hardest difficulty is easier than Cassandra. I have a guide out about storytellers, and what I always tell people is that Randy kills you by accident, and Cassandra kills you on purpose. So Randy can go to sleep. Randy has nothing that guarantees that he has to attack you. You could literally get literally get Randy not attacking you for two years. Also, Randy can roll 50% raid points. On average, he rolls a raid point multiplier of 1, so it just stays the same. He can roll 1.5, but he can also roll 50%. Uh, the only thing that makes Cassandra easier is if you know her cycle, which I do. And so if you if you do watch Cassandra's cycle, you know when she can and can't attack you. That's the one thing you don't know with, with Randy. Now, in a vacuum, Randy can be harder for sure you can have seven raids in two days with randy right that's hardly ever going to happen but if it does obviously that's way harder than cassandra's uh on average two every 10.6 days so that's what i always say is that hey mine screws that randy randy kills you by accident cassandra kills you on purpose phoebe kills you with boredom and overconfidence <laughs> obviously everything's a great mod so we can keep the tongues. The <laughs> okay, other woman needs to death rest. Oh, she doesn't have one of these. And we don't have the stuff for it, so. Now I need to remember to set the auto wake. There we go. And that means EQ. Go ahead as well. Auto wake. And muffin girl, why not? Like tongues, like tongues, like skull spikes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have never beaten Phoebe because I always get bored. There was a time a couple years ago when this was like, you should just do a 5% Phoebe run just, just, uh, just to have done it. And we were on average getting attacked once every 15 to 20 days because of her cycle. And I was just like nothing was happening. And so I switched storytellers. <laughs> So, does that mean she won or I won? I'm not sure, but I didn't finish the, the run with her, so. Phoebe waits. So, Phoebe has the same cycle as Cassandra, but instead of two major events, she only has one major event. For anyone that's curious how she works. Hardest storyteller confirmed. I think out of the storytellers that I played, including modded storytellers, the hardest storyteller was probably initially it was Igor Invader, 
until I realized that double damage turrets are pretty frigging good. So we lost like four or five runs to Igor. Igor doubles all damage, and every time you have someone die, he sends another raid instantly. And so it was pretty rough. That runs up on YouTube as well, those runs, even the, the four or five losses. And then uh, we had this epiphany like, oh, double damage turrets. Turrets are cheap, double damage. It's gonna do some work. And so I rushed to turrets and got like a line of turrets up. It's one of the only games where actual... Uh, we, we don't want him to have... Oh, please don't kill him, children. Please don't kill him. We don't want him to have catharsis. Or... Oh my god, he downed Genie Boy. That's right, because Genie Boy is a wimp. Uh, words. Turrets were very important to the run. No turret Igor could be fun. Yeah, I think I'd have an easier time with it these days. Western Waves is pretty difficult too, especially early on. So we're still... Those are fun runs though, because just figuring them out is a lot of fun. You ever seen me restart so many times to Winston Waves? Yeah, yeah. No, I've only done one No Walls run, and that was the impossible run. Beat me a thousand percent. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we move on to the next tongues. Doesn't a lot of good events happen. Oh, the Empress Evil one? No, I haven't played that one yet. Three prosthetic legs for seven more honor. honor. Baby's death by boredom, that's right. Hmm. Is there such a thing as a no-kill box run? Yes, I've done many of them. Up on YouTube if you want to check them out. In fact, I think the run that changed the way I played the most was when I did 500% no kill box. I mean, I did a 500% no pause run with no walls or doors. There was no kill box in that one either. But that was after I did the no kill box run. I don't think I would have done the... I don't think I would have been able to do the no walls, no doors, no rooms, just build in the open 500% no pause run had I not done the initial no kill box run first. That one definitely uh, made it so I improved on a lot of things. Storytelling? No, I've not done that. No, I did not turn off bugs for it. That <laughs> was way after that. Bugs are off now. Last time someone said that, we immediately had an infestation. See if it happens again. Okay, tongue, 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 tongue. All right, one more tongue to remove. Many times are it's worth growing potatoes over rice or corn. Potatoes are better to grow in stony soil, and they're okay to grow in normal soil. You want to grow potatoes in out of any food, really, out of the base foods. Potatoes are the only things, food-wise, that you want to grow in stony soil. So the yellow soil, potatoes are going to grow better there than anything else because they have basically no fertility sensitivity. And so they grow the, about the same speed no matter where you plant them. Now, outside of that, potatoes are more work efficient than rice. So if you're not like urgently needing food and you don't have a lot of workers, but you're gonna need food faster than waiting on corn, that's a good intermediary crop or maybe your growing season isn't long enough. But yeah, basically, if you're talking about food, plant potatoes in yellow soil, rocky, stony soil, and you can make, you can plant it in normal soil. It's a waste in, in rich soil though, because it's doesn't have any uh, fertility sensitivity. Wolves. Wolves are under attack. Wolves. That's right. That's the... They are billions run. Yeah, that's why Psychite in 1.4 had its fertility sensitivity changed, so it's also fine to plant in yellow now, but... It's not, not food, of course. Alright. So... Oh my god, it did! It happened again! 
every time someone said that bugs are off this run, we've had an infestation. The next event. You guys did it again. I need human raids. Stop it. <laughs> We're playing Twitch Toolkit. What is this? Toxic potatoes, same as normal potatoes. As far as I'm aware, they're the same, other than obviously they grow in toxic soil instead. Like to run fire, you don't have to deal with them. Yeah, yeah. Seems like a good idea. All right, bugs dead again. Are humans turned on? It seems like not. Seems like human raids are off at the moment. Jeez, man. I think that's. I think that's like 10 events with only two human events so far. Yeah, the only human events turned on. I gotta be careful how I finish that sentence. The only human events that can occur are the arrival of children. <laughs> I gotta be real careful. Gotta get some more quotes. Gotta get some more quotes right there. All right. Why are the thralls on bed rest anyway? I think initially it was because some of them were dying without it. But they're not dying anymore. So. There we go. We go. Make those mind screws. Man, he is making the device that we're going to shove in his brain to make him unhappier. Are adults on? Yeah, can't read that out loud. Are ready to get the victory over bugs buff without letting your slaves get it? I don't think so. This is a colony-wide thing. Just like destroying a mech cluster. I know they're cooking with a jelly, but I don't, uh, maybe I want to go trade that, actually. Yeah, that can be a good thing to go trade. So when... I think I can go now. We would be on the lookout for a couple more weapons, for a prestige helmet, and for jeans. It's a lot of jelly, yeah. It can get us quite a bit. Come to the Vampire Mountain. We have naked children, dance parties, and lots of jelly. Oh, God. Should have should have pre-read that before I read it out loud. Out of all the messages in chat to read out loud. Are right, imps the worst of haste for vampires? Yeah, I would say so. Probably, we'll probably have to do a different setup in the shotgun tunnel eventually because of imps. All right, yeah, let's go. They'll be fine here without me. We are going to have to go do another raid soon, too. In a little while. We did a couple in a row, but it's been a, well, it's been a bit. It's been quite some time. We'll let him take these and we can switch his food while he's gone. So, and then insect jelly. Hmm. All right. Hit the road. Uh, 
you're gonna make me redo it because someone ate some friggin' jelly or moved it or something. Yeah, there we go. Mega Scarab has dementia. <laughs> it keeps getting confused. Huh? Kinjibo needs death rest. We got some other melee blockers. They might have to. Yeah, we got two. It's fine. <sighs> Poor Buggy has a bug in his brain. Remember back when, like the early days, when we had all these slaves and we were going to build a big wall down here? We got started on it. And we thought we were going to have this big compound, this area leading in, double kill tunnel and stuff. Those were the days before all the bad things happened. Before we had all these children. Children. When are you popping out of there? Who's gonna. Genie Boy is eight. Five, ten, four. Before the run became a daycare. Lynx hunting, hunting who? Good luck. Would you shoot it? Okay. <laughs> that works, I guess. We're just gonna stand there and get bitten. All right, let's go. He was welcoming the... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I'd probably be doing the same thing. The way his life is, he's suddenly getting attacked by a, a giant creature, and he's just like, take me. Right. Zero mood, zero life. All right, off to trade. Off to trade. A lot of camels for one guy. Oh, I meant to change that over, right? Go be eating raw food. Go be eating raw food. There we go. There we go. Now he can do, or now he can eat it. Oh no. Oh God. Waste pack in the throne room. Oh, that's a center way. So that's not a waste pack. That's the rare center map one. Don't destroy my throne. Oh, whoops. I had you in the front. So those can happen even if you have no pollution. I don't know why. But they can. Yeah, bugs are friggin' turned on, all right. Never fails when asked that. And then we get an infestation done. <laughs> Uh, I think the throne room's a little disrespected. Just a little. I turned on the bugs. No. Make it seem like it's not rare. I know, what the crap. Someone looked it up and it's like... Like 1.2% chance for the center one to happen. I just keep having it happen. 
Although this is a kind of long run. We're almost 500 days in, to be fair. Everyone stop mentioning bugs. That's right. All right, almost there. I want human raids right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I mean, I kind of, I think we'll probably be fine. We do have, yeah, we have multiple melee blockers. We should be okay. Especially when Jimbo gets up. They don't have great weapons, but. I hope no extra humans come to raid my nice raidable mountain base. Yeah, maybe we should start using reverse psychology. You think I'm not home where I'd be really upset about the throne room? Yeah. Good lord. God. <laughs> well, we got a lot of bug meat coming in. Action. How dare you inconvenience me with your infection. <sighs> Next we'll get mechs. Yeah, maybe. We haven't had mechs in a while, actually. Autumn orders. Yeah, I mean, the autumn orders can't kill us, but they could hurt some of our power, which would be annoying. So need more blood bags, too. Questable spacecraft data hack. Another one, but this time it's going to be bigger raids. Uh, why is sensitive man sleeping in a room full of children? He's 16. He's he's not really a man. He just like he wants to be called a man. It's still kind of weird though. He's actually should be sleeping here. Yeah, we'll fix that. There we go. It's a little less weird. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Specialized limbs, always good. Artificial metabolism. Perfect immunity, grayless hair, and tinder skin. No. Uh, skill trainer shooting, unfortunately. Hmm. Another Zeus hammer and another mono sword. This time only normal quality. And those are so much more expensive. No, oh, there's a prestige uh, cataphract. I want that. I'm really tempted to get the shock lances so we can just down some enemies without killing them. I'm going to get a couple more of these weapons, though, first off. Let's see if we even have the money for, for this this time. We have a lot less to trade this time than last time, so I don't know that we're going to have it. Close, though, we're trading some of the dromedary. Hey, there we go. Nice. All right. Come on back, and we'll check the pigs for jeans, I guess. Skin, jeans are worth it for the nudist. Yeah, uh, they're okay. Yeah, they're not like super. It's not gonna like make it so a nudist has armor. Also it makes them uglier, but yeah, it's probably worth getting in this run. Long run. Free marine helmet. I'll give the marine helmet to one of these. I know it's already tattered, but I'll give them to one of the other single fish. Yeah, well, it's, it's, I can't make myself not know when Cassandra, because I just, I just know, like, I have to, I would have to erase that from my brain. Like, if we've had two events recently, I know we've had two events without 
even looking, right? So it's like... I'm not going to, like, force myself to let people go to the edge of the map when she's off cooldown just because I'm trying to pretend I don't know or something. And Cassandra is not on cooldown right now, right? Or she wasn't when we were gone. I didn't wait. She attacked once and then I left. Yeah, see, I left in between those two attacks, so she definitely could have sent another raid even while I was out. Alright. So, hey, we got mine screws. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, when Jimbo's up, we'll start getting the mine screws put in. And now, with the ability to make mine screws again, get medicine, we should be able to get our. Slave population higher as long as we get more slaves. My inconvenient clairvoyance, yeah. yeah. Hey, when did someone destroy a friggin' battery? During their, like, a breakdown or something. Or did we destroy that while we were finding the bugs? I don't know, but there's a battery missing there. But, oh well, I'm gonna move these out of that room anyway. Someone broke it. I, I, I... Saw or fell or whatever the screen shake at one point when there was something going on, but I didn't realize it was the battery. I just figured it was a shelf. Like, normally it's a shelf. Uh, and now that we're able to make our... You know, we need to scan steel. We still have steel to mine, though. So let's make sure we have that set up. On the map, I mean... And the thralls, if they have nothing else to do, and he likes mining. Maybe we give him the mine screw. That will definitely counteract that. Yeah, I think he'll get the next mine screw. The first one of the new batches, and then we can put him on mining. So yeah, that's what I meant by someone broke it. Yeah, tantrum, yeah. Figured that must have been what happened. I mean, you must have saw. I have a video for wealth management. I have a video that goes over what all is wealth and where wealth is from. And yeah, it's got some wealth management stuff in there in general. It's a little bit older, but the, the stuff in it is still accurate. I think exclamation wealth, actually. Oh my god. We'll get you to it. Dead in four hours. Can I even make it there? I need blood bags. Uh, let's go, Muffin. Hold on, Zoodles. I will save you for an endless... Oh, my God. Life of pain. Hang on. Warg. Jerk. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, that yeah, that is right. There was also um one of the hives or whatever was over here. Yeah. Who knows? Either way, it got destroyed. But it's good now. I'm back. Every time I leave, I come back with less camels. Only fans should just link to a clip of, of Pawn just getting loving. <laughs> no. I'll start death rest. All right, it's time for your brain implants. Okay, install mine screw. You are n okay. No mascus. We're good. 
Jimbo, go ahead and do that. All right, so now we will put them on mining. Get the stuff mined out. And then this person, we need to get rid of their legs. So, install pack leg left, install pack leg right. We also need to go do a raid sometime. There hasn't been really anything good spawn. This is only there for 11 more hours. 11 days. So we should get another raid spawn at some point. For too long. Ideal colonist count. I I like in like a normal playthrough, if you're not talking about this one, I usually like 25-ish colonists. Kind of 25 to 30 is kind of where I really like. But in this run, I was thinking probably about like eight single phage and then whatever I get of, of thralls, and I'm not, not sure. We're getting a plus six for miserable slaves in Colony, huh? We get a plus one for everyone. I wonder if that's capped on anything. Your ideology have preferred apparel. Yeah, you might as well. If you're trying to min-max ideology, you might as well have one preferred apparel and have it be something that you would already be wearing. The easiest one is button-down shirt. Button-down shirt is the, the best shirt. It's a shirt for that layer anyway, as far as just shirt goes. So you can just set button down shirt as uh, your ideology's preferred clothing and then everyone will just get a small mood buff for wearing a shirt that you're already making anyway right so all right we might as well just keep adding the mind screws just always have a mind screw on these mind screw on you mind screw on you okay do your slaves all have guns? Yes, they all have guns. Because guns make them more unhappy because of our ideology. And the uh, more unhappy our slaves in this playthrough, uh, the better. The less likely they are to rebel. Move left leg, move right leg. Okay. So we need to get this cleaned up at some point. Make that maybe the gene room. Sikasu is too happy because they're in a really comfortable bed. Get over here and give... What am I doing? I'm feeding them? Okay. Give them the mind screw. How okay. inconvenient. To my master that I hate holding it so much that I won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Low in medicine again. Uh, we got more coming in. Okay, so that's three mine screws down. We got one remaining. And we need more steel. So now that that guy is able to mine steel, should be getting a lot more in. Also, with the other thralls, we'll put them as a four on mining. Oh, did we get the legs finished? Yeah, okay, thank you. There we go. All right. Hey, the baby has become a child. Remain colonist. Come out of there. Baby, if you're old enough to be walking around, you are old enough to not have the mono sword. No, no, no. I need to equip that on other people, though. Put the club. Mono sword. Do same. All right. You miss or mess up somehow, you'll face some consequences. Yeah, if you don't shoot them in the brain, I guess. Jimmy Hoffa. 16 months. Almost a year and a half. Uh, excuse me. You mean almost full calendar year? That's right. Jimmy Hoffa hiding in last place that the authorities are going to look twitch chat thank you for a sword she's only three Jimmy boy has a knife everyone else is running around with clubs isn't this hilarious i know <laughs> look at him club 
club. All right. More drugs coming in, so we'll be able to trade that hopefully for some jeans up there at the pig settlement. Uh, things are looking okay again, so I'm sure we're going to have a dizzying fall at any moment. What are you happy about? Slightly impressed. Wait a minute. Oh my god. You ate in the dining room at a table? Never think about getting a brain chip implant if it become commonplace. Uh, I'll, I won't say never to it, but it would have to be way down the line. And like somehow proven. Uh, it can't be used for any. Yeah, I don't know. That's a, it's a kind of a weird one moment. I would say that I wouldn't say never, but I also would say no time anytime soon. Eating at a table, unacceptable. Uh, Row, thank you for the 22 months. What percentage of a full calendar year are you at right now? I think you're at 22%. 22%. Ah, oh, man, it's steel. Mining site, I was really hoping that was going to be... Uh, components again. I'm going to do brain cybernetics, but bionic limbs and stuff you go for. Yeah, brain chips would take a lot of convincing, yeah. Remotely compromise is a good way to put it. I think not eating at a table is gonna be mainstream. I think I think so. The brain chips with ads cost less. Oh god, yeah. Blood skulls. But the kids the kids have been beating up the slaves quite a bit today. We'll probably, we'll probably continue that for sure. All right, another mine screw. Now four of the slaves will have mine screws, two will not. And we'll get started on, on getting that. Out. Oh, right. I want to change this over to normal light to make this guy even more happy. I don't know why I'm researching the ship. We're just researching everything. Wow. That's a lot of mood hit. I wish you would show the negative, like, how into the negative. Missing tongue, trapped underground, awful barracks, drowsy, shared a bed with someone that I don't know, minor pain, insulted, unsightly environment, wielding a weapon I don't like, body modder frustrated, slept on the ground, indoor light, ate nutrient paste, slept in the cold, ready apparel, ate without a table, disturbed sleep. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Uh, Been maxing on happiness. I'm really thinking that maybe we should put the camels in here for a little while and get their beds really dirty. I've been thinking about that. Just, it wouldn't take very long. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's, let's, let's cover the slave barracks with camel crap. Maybe we'll go in there and kill one of the camels as well. Like one of the babies. Oh, Jesus. There is a mod, yeah. I've talked about doing a run of the reverse mood lit mod. Jesper, how are you happy? Oh my god, your your hospital bed was too comfortable. Defeat insect hive. Ugh. You also ate a, a table? Finally snapped. <laughs> All right, children. Let's go. Get him. Watch out, fire baby. You can't solo him. Let me at him. Gee, boy, you're gonna get knocked out. All right, good job, children. Good job. Yeah. <sighs> 
No, don't put them in these beds. No. They get too comfortable in these. Yeah, kick him out of there. Go throw him on the floor and tend to him there, okay? Yeah, they're up there. We're not cleaning that up. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, Jimbo, if you could... Blueprint is forbidden. Uh, no, no, not. There we go. Lamp life I have, so... Yeah, I have a, I have a, um, normal standing lamp in here. I need to put one in there, too. The mood doesn't change while they're asleep, though. But. Yeah, I have no home zone in there, so they won't. Uh, there we go. That's kind of weird. That shouldn't affect that, but. Blueprint forbidden. Is it because the camels are walking over it? Or it's not going to... Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know what's going on there. Blueprint forbidden. Oh, he's... uh Yeah, okay. My bad. They're still on the wall zone. Hospitality for royals. 12 days of nine. They would hate it here. I don't have a free bedroom for you. I'm going to have to get a, be a bedroom for the Stellark. Why are the slaves not eating corpses? Uh, Because they would only get a debuff for raw food. They don't care that it's a corpse or that it's you know human or whatever. They get a debuff for the raw food, but then they would also get a lot of food poisoning so they wouldn't be able to do their work so it's it's a fine line that you have to keep them very unhappy but they still have to be able to function at their job so we're, we're pretty much running an amazon warehouse and we're trying to get as much out of them as we can or they'll still show up yep all right so let's uh let's bring these in I learned this from, from Bezos. All right, camels. I need to crap all over this room. And then... Also need some blood in the room. Well, come on, camel. You gotta bleed a little bit. Maybe I'm too strong with this sword. Let's have, um... Yeah, let's come in with this sharp weapon. <laughs> hang, hang on. One second thought. Children. Children. Come gather around in here, children. Beat this baby camel to death. Jesus Christ. There you go. There you go. All right. There we go. Now there's some blood and vomit in there. All right. All right. Cool. That's got to be pretty hideous, right? All right. Now we can take him out. Oh, and I need to overheat. I need to make this uh, either too hot or too cold for them as well. Probably too warm. Make them sleep in the heat. That way... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We need some more steel to get that done, though. Uh, actually, I think I will make them sleep in the cold eventually. We don't have the steel. All right, let's uh, let's set up some more steel mining. What a mess this run is. Have the thralls eat the 
<laughs> Eat the baby camel. Okay, EQ. Actually, Jimbo, move this down. And that should get handled. There we go. All right. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking about the chem fuel generator too, but eventually I do want coolers in here for the toxic waste stuff so I don't have to worry about it. But I really want to make chem fuel right now. All right. Working on more mine screws. Good. On components. Good. You guys stay in the walls. We have some festivals. Maybe we can get some more thralls out of that. Wow, oh, they're walking all the way around that instead of coming through here. How wide is this? Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I'm blind. Sorry. That's why it's not good to play with a sunblocker. <laughs> Adam, get the monitor with true black. Like you have a sunblocker in real life with the true blacks on this monitor. Honestly, a lot of this we're just never going to use, but... We're not making the ship in this run, so this is kind of... We're kind of done with everything that we need until we get more tech prints. I'll knock this out really quick. Can I catch up with the bonds? Thank you. Let those things help out. So now, yeah, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't see it, but it's mine now. Was literally like zoomed in and couldn't see it. I see them go up there again. <laughs> this section, I would be okay strip mining too. Like some of our mountain, I don't want to strip mine. I don't want it to get rid of our lonely mountain aesthetic. This I'm alright with. Let me learn more about medicine. Yeah, but I don't want to get the stuff to make our own. Eventually, we'll want a second one of these, so let's go ahead and that get worked on. He's made iron silver bound the whip. Yeah, that was crazy. Eight to one odds. Like 500,000 channel points redistributed. Should I be concerned this baby keeps going to the prison to do his doodles? Man, we still need more blood bags. I'm going to have to do some rituals. Hopefully we get some more blood bags. All right, let's do it. Ninety-five percent. We need another needle sheet sometime. How many of them are vampires? I think we have five at the moment and we have the ability to change another one, but we just don't have enough blood sustained so we're uh we're waiting on that 
Yeah, we have five. All the full capital. And then he's ready. It's just we don't have... Don't have the hemogen even to support the ones we have right now. I think all these are set up as farms now, right? Yeah. Okay, no join from that one. All right, children, gather around. It's time to dance. No join. She would remember who I have in here, so I don't have to click that every time. But... Boring blood rave. Oh, God. Bad luck, bad luck all around. And we don't have anyone that can duel right now outside of the slaves, so. I think we're going to have to go on another raid, and hopefully we get some people. Current rib's kind of OP. Stay down from pain. Risk of death. Uh, it kind of depends, yeah. Because another problem... It's both a blessing and a curse, right? Like you said, they're less likely to die, but also they're going to fight less amount of time. Ooh, hey. Tater. You probably got blood in you. Look at you, Tater. You're probably full of blood. Uh, and then sometimes they're going to down even from just... Like being sick, for instance. Fifty percent. That's kind of crazy. Ween Tater. We got Warg on Warg violence. All right, well, if she doesn't come peacefully, I will hit her with a sword. Let me alone, Warg. I have a sword. 50% chance. Oh, we got it. We got it. Did you sustain enough damage? You're going to die, too. Yep. Stop peg leg left. Stop peg leg right. I did that the wrong one. It doesn't matter. Natural blood feeding instead of consuming blood packs. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the benefit is. I mean, it's nice that you can just do it like as you're like running around. But as as far as like from a prisoner, I'm not sure. I think I would just rather do the packs because if you have a surplus, you start building it up, right? But I don't know. I guess enslaving kids, it's become a daycare. So yeah, we've, we've not enslaved children. Haven't been enslaving children. Hmm. Start dumping this here now. You gotta teach children how to care for slaves, and then they might become them, though, still. Hey, that's not where I wanted you to do that. Oh. Alright, take them down there. A freaking manhunter again? It's 
crazy. <sighs> Cannot build up today. Oh, thank goodness for that fence. And slowed them down just enough. Never let the kids beat the slaves. Yes, they beat the slaves a lot. Actually, when a slave has a breakdown, I, ga I gather all the children and they run and beat up the slaves. Yes. <laughs> Minoc TF3, 26 months. Glad you're still around, Minoc, and not like for sub reasons, but we've already talked about that, of course, but glad you are still here. Thank you, Minoc. Thank you for all the support. And Zach, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Zach. Also much appreciated. Oh, Manhunter, 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 Manhunter. Infestation, Infestation, Manhunter, Manhunter, Raid. Manhunter, Manhunter, Manhunter. <laughs> that's, that's all today's been. I don't know if I've ever had this many animal-based events in a row. Looted terrain, yeah, I know. I was working on it. Minoc, thank you for the gift sub to Magical Baloney Fish. Magical Baloney Fish. Thank you, Minoc. Sure wish I wouldn't. Yeah, well, me either. I wish I hadn't disabled humans either. <laughs> we were, uh, what was it? Two streams ago, we got like all human raids and now we're getting none. Another creative inspiration. So again, there's a really good use for hospital beds. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, we don't need any of this other stuff. So I think I'm going to turn these off for now. And we're going to switch over to scanning. Oh, it's because these are in the way. Whoops. Wish we do some evil stuff. <laughs> what are the dogs doing? They're just hanging out. They're manhunters. So, but we closed all the doors. So they're just chilling. Just chilling, those dogs. A big eat keen while I met cluster huge siege. That was your game. <laughs> I would take some of that. Bugs a wall. I feel like it sometimes.
Wow, we can even start thinking about getting that kind of getting bullets made. Piercing stun ability, it seems to be pretty good, and I've noticed that it hits. Like, I don't know if it's just luck or what, but we've gotten a lot of headshots from it, so. It seems all right. The downside to it is it's basically melee range and it does have a warm up time before it can shoot. But it feels like it's one of those you might as well use it if you have the blood for it. Uh, piercing spine. One second cooldown. Cast time is 0.5 seconds. 20 cost. Yeah, it's been it's been OK. We've used it a few times and more often than not, it's it's gotten headshots. So I'm not sure. It's just unfortunate that it's... I don't know what the damage is either. Will the slaves resort to cannibalism if you withhold food? Uh, no. They would just fall over. They would start to starve to death and literally just fall over until someone fed them. They would not eat anything because they won't have breakdowns, so they wouldn't have any like food breakdown or anything. Yeah, well, I can't really get down there and clean this stuff up, Gamble, so. You can stop dying in the meantime. Great. I mean, everyone's a cannibal. They'll all eat human meat anyway. But. Thirty? That's pretty good, yeah. Thirty stab damage, so. That's like. It's like a shotgun blast and a half but you have to be in close range so that's pretty good damage completely ignores armor too yeah oh the warg is hunting dogs there's those piercing side attacks they do the spider man web shooting How so this warg is killing dogs but the dogs are insta rotting because they have scaria so it just keeps going to the next one but he's so hungry. And these dogs are no match for a warg. Oh, yeah, it's dead. It was, it was already injured. All right, get those moved out. I don't take my work. It would be relatively thematic, I guess, huh? Yeah, workers are doing doing some good work for us. Okay, uh, any new raid targets? Steel and steel. 13 people, 15 people. There's a six person one. We might just go hit that for the raid. But we don't really need the raid buff right now though, huh? No recent conquests. Even the, even the kids. Look at Fire Baby. I really upset that we haven't conquered anyone recently. And some of them are coming across this light, so I think they're probably unhappy enough without it. They look they look like they're for Dumo. Is it better to smooth walls and floors or better to build them? Does it does wealth matter? So smooth walls for whatever reason are the most wealth efficient beauty like in the game pretty much as far as like I said, for wealth. Walls, smooth walls are actually only one wealth per wall for some reason. You can repair them and they have more HP than stone. So you basically want to for sure smooth all your walls with your excess labor. And then the flooring is actually worth quite a bit. So smooth flooring is actually quite a bit of wealth. So I would maybe do that one after if, if you wanted to. But absolutely smooth walls if you need beauty or quality is, is a good idea. 
In fact, I have smoothed quite a bit, but there's still some that we need to do. I gotta be careful where I smooth and make things beautiful, though, because the, the slaves will end up seeing it and getting too happy. Uh, yes, it also allows you to run conduits through, stuff like that, so... Very, very worthwhile. Very worthwhile. Uh, let's see what his efficiency is at the moment. Yeah, so he's got 200% hunger rate. So, yep. <laughs> so he's effectively a Gorbond, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. I think I'm going to go... I, I'm wondering if this will count as a... Conquest. Yeah, Eat Keener Germline, yep. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try it. I'm thinking it's probably snapshot from the last time we were there. Genie boy. Almost 10. We're getting there. We're getting there. Getting there. <laughs> Daddy, we haven't got any conquests. I want to kill people. We will soon, child. That's right. Spider recruitment. No. Hey. Okay, so we're up to four Hemogen farms. That is basically enough to keep our five going, but we definitely need more. Oh God, she oinked. She oinked as we removed her peg leg. Oh, God. Let's never zoom in on that again. <laughs> uh, it's fine. All right. Uh, so um, I just saw my daughter's bus through the window and it is band day, band day. So I'm going to uh, go deal with that. Get, get ready for that. <laughs> deal with it. it makes it sound like a really bad thing. And we will have more hours of this tomorrow and Sunday. So a little bit shorter today because uh, of school stuff, but it's a good place to wrap up. And tomorrow when we start up, I am going to, I think we're in a pretty decent place right now. I am going to go try to get the next part of our relic uh, out at the, the complex. Whoops. And I think, I think we're going to do the next ceremony, but I think, We've basically recovered. Do we actually finally recover? Hang on. We have still not recovered from the fire. <laughs> it's so ridiculous how much, how behind that set us. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll catch up. We'll catch back up tomorrow. Let me save it before anything else happens. Uh, all right. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for watching. If you are on YouTube and watching this, the stream is already scheduled for tomorrow, so you can go ahead if you would like, and you can click to uh, be reminded, and it'll just be a pop-up, like a notification when it's when it's on. Uh, when this stream ends on YouTube, I've also done a setting that I've not done before where it should point you to the next stream, so let me know how that works out. And uh, yeah, those on YouTube, or uh, those on Twitch, Twitch doesn't have that feature, so I'll just see you in the morning. So tomorrow's stream should be around 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and we'll continue this run uh, God, hopefully we don't have any massive setbacks tomorrow. But anyway, thank you guys as always. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the things. Very much appreciated. Uh, last thing about the YouTube stuff. If, uh, if you hit the like button on your way off the stream, or if you're watching the VOD later on, it helps a lot. It helps the algorithm. Or if you're on Twitch, you could go over there and press it as well. But anyway, thank you guys again. Have a good rest of your day or night. Whatever it is where you are. I will see you next time. It should be tomorrow morning. 
with more crazy 